Whenever I went to Gerard's house, I was tired as fuck. So, and we just kind of like, we just chill on his bed, right? <laughs> and one time I was just like, I just laid the fuck out. He's like laying all over my bed, and my mom hates James's guts. <laughs> I find it hilarious that she hates him, but uh, like he's lying there, and she was trying to be polite, and she opens the door to my bedroom, and she's, he's, <laughs> James just sprawled on the bed, and she's like, "Uh, would you like anything?" And James just looks up, smiles, and goes, "Uh huh." <laughs> And then he just puts his head back down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't but care. I that was bad. That was just you fun. tell me she hated it. She hated me. <laughs> oh no, dude, that is too much. <laughs> uh, I, I we love you, James. So, all right, we're all back in effect. Welcome to VG Bandits. Welcome. Well, I just sold my lazy shell by mistake. God. <laughs> oh shit! Are you si- serious? That sucks. Yeah. God damn it. He's playing our Mark right now. Don't pay too much attention to him. Let's let's. How is everyone? I'm good. Doing well. Fine and dandy, like sour candy. Oh. Oh. We know you too well, Kelly. I'm spiffy. Spiffy. I am. Good. I'm how are you? Okay. How are you, Max? Quiet one. Oh, I'm. I'm a uh, good. Actually, I'm getting. Uh, actually, as we speak, I'm playing Demon Souls and uh, getting a thoroughly flat thrashed in Valley of Defilement. I. 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 Uh, before I went to work today, I was like, I was like, I gotta get the the Great Sword of Moonlight. And I was just like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So I was getting, it, and I almost was late for work. And then, um, and uh, and I, I was actually kind of tired too because I was staying up all, like late. And um, and I woke up early this morning, and you know, someone was asking me, "Is like, oh, why are you so tired?" And the first thing that came to my mind was, "Oh, I was busy getting a, a sword made of moonlight." And I almost said that. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't say that." So, did you catch yourself? I You're did, like, yeah. I was like, but it, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It started with the uh, and then uh, I was like, oh no, I'm just tired. I was reading up on I, uh, banking. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good answer. <laughs> was it your uh, higher up? Uh, yeah, it was my boss. I f- always feel weird talking about video games with authority figures because I, I always feel weird just talking about anything. <laughs> yeah, figure, well yeah. said. Well, yeah, it's true, but it's one thing if you're, like, talking about, like, safe things, like what you had for dinner, and you can be like, oh, I had this really cool recipe, but then it's like, oh, well, I was up all night playing video games, it doesn't sound... It's Actually, funny. in it's Gerard's position... Huh? What if, about? if it was Gerard at GameStop, then again... Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, oh. that's, that's assuming all GameStop, like, heads know their games i guess uh, i wonder I assume, that now <laughs> I, I, I wonder I, I, how like the perception of playing video games it like how it, that is amongst people who don't really play games it's sort of I, I, in my experience it's been like a sl- there's like a little stank of condescension up in there well, yeah. I remember so like, from people i remember to i don't know I, I remember like um Oh, no, I had a really uncomfortable conversation with my boss the other day. What'd you say? Because, like, uh, I, I lost my I lost my jacket for work, and um, uh, I, I I I didn't care. I just told him straight up how I lost it. Why? Well, how'd you lose it? When I went to that Bomb the Music Industry concert with Gerard, I brought a case of beer. And, and to keep the balls from like clacking, is it, I just shoved my jacket in the box. <laughs> and when I was passing beer out to people, the box, the the beer got confiscated. My jacket in it, and oh shit, no! And I, uh, I should have told my boss that's what happened to my jacket. I don't know. That was really funny to me. 
It's like, oh, damn it. That was my favorite jacket. Uh, <laughs> it's, okay. it, it's just weird. Because I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Everyone's trying to... Everyone kind of shoots this shit at this job. No one's really caring that much about anything here. So, whatever. That's cool. Be honest. That's, cool. That's good when you have chill people to work with. Like, I like all the people I work with at the bank, and they're all really chill and down-to-earth people. Oh, d- no, don't get me wrong. My boss isn't that chill. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me uh, wrong. I actually hate my job. <laughs> Don't worry, my soul is dying as we yeah. speak. But. <laughs> so, God, I I come back today from work and I see all this news that's coming up. Like May twenty first, Microsoft's going to unveil their next system, and yep. And and actually, this is this is kind of cool. Nintendo's not going to be doing an E three press conference. They're going to do like the smaller little junkets. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Like not a major one, like they did the previous two years exactly yeah they're going to be doing just smaller little things i guess around the time of um or just you know how they i guess really it, just a bunch of nintendo directs which have been quite delicious lately they've been pretty damn good lately i'm not gonna lie i'm yeah i'm looking forward to the new zelda yeah matt what you said would be so cool if that was the case oh god what, what did uh, you say? I'd, I'd flip my entire desk oh i said that uh I was talking to Max, and I was like, you know what would be crazy? You know how Link can go, like, into walls as art and shit? Gerard? Yes. I was like, dude, what if you can go on Death Mountain, spin around it, and there's, like, a whole new nether world behind that shit? Oh. That sounds like something be, that's possible. I would lose my shit. Because, like, it's the overworld from Link to the Past. It's like, oh, cool. Or that's how you enter the dark world. Yeah, oh, dude. I'd still lose it. Oh, God. It's like Termina back there. (laughs) It's like, oh, shit, there's that goddamn moon. (laughs) What the fuck? I'd be annoyed if it turned into Chalk Zone. Into what? If it turned into Chalk Zone. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, like everything was just that style. Is that show good? I never know. Oh God, no! <laughs> no, no hesitation. Just no. 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 <laughs> I like how you said that last. No, it was very like, uh, no. Damn it! I still have to I, beat I 3DS games. Before, oh God! You... Before I think about any other 3DS games, I think I gotta beat one 3DS game. You gotta do it, and it'll be. We'll celebrate it. We'll have a big old party. I still haven't unlocked all the shit. characters in theater with them. It's taking forever. Because you're oh, not sh- Kelly. Huh? Because Why is it you take- are not Kelly. Like, yeah. The theater rhythm master. <laughs> I hate how it, even with ev- even with like the best party for it, it's still a maybe. If you get the little crystal shard thingy. Can you just like start off with the highest difficulty in all those in the songs? Mm, no. Or you have to build no. up. You have to build up. You have to, like, work your way up to the hardest thing. The hardest thing is the hardest thing. I believe it. And even the hardest thing isn't, like... It's more than ultimate, right? Uh, it's kind of n- just, like, what no. happens well, in chaos fucking... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess the so. The things right? that happen in... Well, yeah, the things that happen in chaos are pretty ridiculous. Yeah. They don't it, happen in the normal. Mode. Yeah, they don't. They don't even happen on the ultimate difficulty, where like, you know, you you get some uh, you get some notes that are like they're spinning. The, the and, first, the first time I saw spinning notes, I thought I was seeing things. I I thought I was going delirious <laughs> from playing too much. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I felt. I was like, because it was so spinning. sudden, there was no warning. Just all of a sudden, the spinning. Those are awful. Yeah. And it's weird how you, you kind of train your mind to to just okay if it's spinning from there I know it's gonna be left. You be rapping cool. That's oh yeah I bet that's how you just do it. You have to just be used to its initial you know what? position. It's, I mean since you fucking you referenced, I just but the, the, I remember that game doesn't fucking follow any rhythm. Either you just 
whenever you get good or cool, it's a, it always it, felt it, like an accident. It, it follows rhythm, but it changes where the rhythm like lies uh, throughout the song. So like, because like, like you know, being right on it, and it, I don't think it, Kelly I, I, I realizes right. we're talking about Parappa, by the way. <laughs> oh shit! We're talking about wait. We're talking about Parappa. I thought you were talking about the rhythm. So I thought I, I thought so too. Yeah, wait, well, when did you start talking about? No, the, I just randomly I said. Sworn I, I heard it. I randomly said uh, to James, "Yeah, you be rapping cool," and then he got in. There. The rhythm in Parappa is is non-existent. Like you can, like it feels like sometimes you can just mash the shit out of whatever the fuck you needed to press, and then it'll be like you're rapping cool. Because I always felt like whenever I was on rhythm, it was never good enough. Yeah. No, it's never good enough. Get back in your room. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> what? I don't know why. I was just saying, when you said it was never good enough, I was like, Go back to your room. Never good enough, man. <laughs> never good enough. Tell your grandma to bring a car around. Yeah. So what's everyone <laughs> playing, Gerard? What's everyone playing, Gerard? <laughs> yeah, what are we playing? Tell us what we're playing. <laughs> Tell, Tell us what we're playing. Uh, we're playing Blaze Blue because that's what everyone freaking likes these days. Uh, I haven't played Blaze Blue in really? like a year. Well, I guess Chrono Phantasma is coming out, so. I don't know any of these things. Oh, it's still. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Well, well, Chrono Phantasma is kind of. Not good uh, enough. Are a lot of people in your area just playing? Blaze Blue, then? Uh, no, no. Well, oh. <laughs> no, my friends are, uh, they, they think, like, Blaze Blue is the devil. Oh. I hear, I hear that a lot, actually. They're, in the thing. they're a bunch of Guilty Gear. Yeah, they're, they're, they're Guilty Gear heads. Oh. oh, yeah, you told me about them and how I'd be scared to play with them because they sound like they'd yeah, scream at me. Well, James knows. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay. Wait, James. What up? You're. I think. Okay. <laughs> you're the only other person besides Max, I think, who's gotten far in Walking Dead, right? Um. So far, I'm only in. Uh. I- I'm still at episode two. Oh. Okay. You're further ahead than I am. I still have I to jump back in. I don't comprehend how you could finish Bioshock Infinite, but yeah. you still haven't finished. <laughs> Walking Dead. It's honestly, that's where it gets really amazing. Yeah, dude, after two. Hey, by episode two, I was like, "Shit, man!" Yeah, <laughs> Kelly made him. I made him sit through episode two because that's where I feel like that episode's the one that grabs people. You two know, is really fun. <laughs> yeah, two is good, but it two gets is, it, it's it gets kind better. of a. I, I like. I'm not not trying to sound like a dick, Gerard, but um, <laughs> it's kind of excruciating sitting through that. Because oh. okay. you play like the ultimate neutral, this, <laughs> and I pick a side. And you're all like, no, you are like, fuck being that. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I no, no, James. I, mean, I don't, I I, don't stand for what you believe in, Gerard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the kind of person you are. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, it's far away. <laughs> Do you okay. just... Are you silent a lot when you play? Like, do you pick the dots? Oh, who? No, no. I I, I choose, I think, because you know how, like, in the game, there's clearly people you'll hate? Yeah. Like, I I try to a- avoid that. Even if, like, the, the characters in the game end up hating me, I still try to get on everyone's good side. That's what I try to do. That's impossible. I, I, I messed yeah, it's, I, it's still impossible. No, I, I sort of got that to work, especially by uh, episode two. Uh, but by the end, uh, no, I managed to get everyone. It's like, the best example is Kenny and his family. It's like, Kenny can hate your guts, but if you've, like, t- helped, if you took care of his family, oh. he'd still side with you. Yeah, I mean, that kind of happened to me. K- Kenny hated me, but then he ended up liking me sort of just, just for just because you were helping his family and that alone was enough for me I guess cuz in the end Kenny can be a dick yeah i think so too i don't like Kenny i think Kenny's a Kenny's a little bitch yeah <laughs> if you were playing the game if I Kenny all the way cuz James is all like i 
think Kenny's a great guy, and that and that girl's a bitch. And I'm like, James, it doesn't work like that. Not this game. <laughs> no. That girl was a bitch either way. No, the old she Please. is. Who? Um, the uh, the one with the shitty dad. To, oh, yeah. Oh, what was her name? I I I understood that situation. I I so think, I wasn't. I didn't hate her at yeah, all. Yeah, I understood that too. Like it's. Her her like, I understand her side, but I still don't like her. <laughs> it's kind of like in Breaking Bad. Like I understand Skylar's side, but I don't fucking like her. There's definitely a moment where I hated her too, but before that, I was just like, "Well, it's tough when you have a dad that no one likes, but he's still your dad." And that's all she has left. Exactly. Yeah. But anyway, I'm hey. like actively trying to shut my mouth. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, 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 I would talk about it for hours, but I can't. And that's it's okay. I, I should totally yeah. never play that game, and then make you, <laughs> and then <laughs> I just be, have you be like. Mm-hmm. No, I remember when I, I remember when I was like, someone needs to play this game so I could talk about it with someone, and that, and I'm just like over it now. I just <laughs> like I've forgotten stuff. So. Oh, damn, we'll just make you remember. Game. That's like every other show I watch. We'll make you remember. Because I have no one to talk to about the shows I watch. What shows do? You, what shows are you watching? I'm not watching them anymore. <laughs> 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 but I was watching this one British show called Being Human for a while. Oh. Somebody told me to watch that. <clears throat> Probably me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man, I think it was. Yeah, it was a while back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like that response. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, it was me. So, um uh yeah, games. Oh, oh. yeah. James started Bioshock Infinite, right? Yeah, I started it. I still haven't even found Elizabeth. It's cool, man. Yeah, he just started it. It's fine. Just yes. walking through that fair. The question is, has the shit gone down? Well, I know he's gonna lose this arm, and I'm getting prepared for it. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. His hand's a hook. I know for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it, it's painfully obvious you have not scratched the surface. <laughs> <laughs> that's the twist. That's, that's the twist. That alone. That that made my day, though. <clears throat> Dude, that caught me off guard, James. What did? Yeah. What you said? I still don't even know what's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but is it a spoiler if I tell James? No. Um. No, just the- no. Just- don't tell him. Yeah, let, let me see. Let me see what he was thinking of, because I know. I know. <laughs> Wait, how did you draw to that conclusion that his hands are home? Because, well, what the shit? Uh, I could have sworn. I It's just too funny now. Is it from trailers? No, it's stupid. Now, now I just came off as retarded. Oh, no, no, no. no. Wait, does, does he lose an, a hand? No, no, just... It's an attachment. He just... So it's an attachment? It. Yeah, to it's his a... Stump? It's no, an attachment. No, 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 he has a hand. Only... <laughs> just wears a sky hook and flies around with it. Oh. <laughs> that would be... Actually, James, that would be kind of cool if... You feel like I... I thought uh, that was gonna be a de- like a a, a a dope part of the story. Oh too. no! <laughs> like his like that he'll, he'll his arm. actually. I thought <laughs> the game. Well, wait, wait, wait. Well, Bioshock Infinite feels all swashbuckly, so him having a hook would just enhance that. <laughs> That's what I thought it was gonna be. When does he lose? Huh? When does he lose an eye? He get an eye patch. And when he loses it, he goes, R. <laughs> he just, like, slowly, <laughs> he slowly just transforms into a pirate. Like, yeah. an, en- an enemy throws a bunch of dirt in his in his face, it becomes a beard. Yeah, he's, he's like, oh, he's like, what's going on? <laughs> a parrot flies. What are the hummingbirds? <laughs> yeah, what are the hummingbirds? <laughs> glues, glues a hat on him. And he's just like, what's going on? 
<laughs> you are we sail for Paris. <laughs> By the way, when I started the game, I wasn't prepared to see any of this religious shit. It's all right. Someone got a refund for that. Yep, really? Yep. Did you know that? Someone was like, oh, oh I'm offended I, by this. I feel uncomfortable. And then they got a refund. <laughs> and they gave, I think Valve gave them a refund. They did. They yeah. Well, that was, nice. that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. That's good nice that they find. Like, like if, you know what? If some people find it offensive, they have that right. Yeah. yeah I agree with it, but you know what? If, if they were cool with it, then we should be too, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm but, offended uh, by... I do yeah, feel like uh, this. Gerard. Yeah. Should we mention or talk about the art show we went to? Why the hell not? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, me and Gerard went to um, <laughs> uh, a, 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 a Nicktoons. A 90s kid. A Nicktoons based art show. Yeah. What? Yeah, there, there was one over there, here. Uh, there was a. There's there's an art show held at um there's this art gallery called I Am Ape It. They usually have like video game themed art shows. This one was all Nicktoons from the nineties. It was called It's and the it was called It's the Shiznick. It was a good. It was called. It was a good show. It was a good show. It's the stuff, yeah. It was okay. <laughs> hey, like, Gerard. Yeah. James hasn't told me this, but I know the gut story. The what? The what story? The, oh, gut, the story. gut story. What happened at, during that promo oh, of guts? The promo of when guts. We were, when we were in line, dude. Where the the head director shoved James out of the way. Oh God, that was that was. <laughs> yeah, <beautiful>. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell Max and Kelly this. Tell Max and Kelly. Wait. You tell Max and Kelly. He? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's this guy with the camera. And he's like, "Hey, would you want to be on Nickelodeon?" And I'm like, "Okay, sure," and. He just wanted me to say in front of the camera, do, 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 you have it? And then everyone screams guts in the crowd. And I do that. And the moment I do that, the moment I say those words, you just see James right behind me frowning while everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so it's So James is like the only one in the crowd not doing anything. And he's clearly right behind me frowning. And then he's like, cut. And he points yep. at James, you, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> out of the way, you. Yeah, and then they make us do it again. Like, I felt <laughs> like... Yeah. Like, you remember that episode of The Simpsons where Lisa's a vegetarian? Yeah. That's exactly what like, I was thinking. Right. like that sheep that Homer shoves. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. Get out of my head. Get out, okay, of the way, you. Get out of the way, you. It happens. Get out of the way, you. It happens. Stuff like that happens all the time. Oh, God. Actually, I thought it would be funnier because everyone's, like, cheering. It was and funny. I, it was, I wasn't even, like, behind him. I was, like, to. I was like on his side. So I'm, like, right in the shot. Yeah, yeah. Just, just <laughs> unhappy and miserable. <laughs> well, everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, that's just how that's just how you roll. That's pretty much how I roll. I don't care. It was it was. I thought it was great, James. It was a it was a fun show. It's um, shows that I at I am Ape it end up being more like parties. Yeah, than an actual it, art show. Because they give they give out free drinks and. What I don't like is that they have this huge amount of space and there's so much they can do with it. But all that space is just empty. It's just there for people yeah, to stand. It's just empty. They like fill it. In, like there's a lot of big space there that just filled with like maybe uh, three or four art pieces. And the yeah. rest is just empty. Yeah. Oh, nah. It's like, a minimalist. It's 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 art within art. It's minimalist. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Well, they did paint the walls, and uh, that was kind of fun. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, no, you know what? Like, I did have a good time. It was enjoyable. But you know what? Hey, James, I never asked. Uh, whatever happened to those photos we took? What? Uh, um, with us in the lockers or some shit? No, they had they had like little outfit and outfits and props that you could put on and wear in front of uh, 
um, the lockers that were supposed to look like uh, you can't say that on TV. Gerard put on the Doug vest, and I put on the Patty dress. Oh, oh my goodness. This needs to be on the podcast. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking for it. There's They're like about... <laughs> Here. I'm Kelly and Max, you have competition for your FF5 cosplay. <laughs> oh my! Doug and Patty Mayonnaise. I, I found it, no. and you look—you look so happy in that shot for some reason. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Okay, all right. Uh, Let's see this. Here we go. I'd post it right there. Oh no! Down there. You're a hero, Gerard. Oh yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I toast, man. Oh my god, James. Oh, stick stickly. Wow. Actually, it's... Wow, you both look awesome. <laughs> I look I, I look like crap. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, dude, that... I had my... I had a red shirt under that, and it was not covering it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it looks it like a... part of the shirt. It looks like the it bottom. Does. It, it does. does. It looks like, like the it skirt that Patty Man is wearing. Almost. Oh, no, but... Though I think why James was laughing like that was because we were both thinking this is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> You're totally... was, it, was it a date, James? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, no. hilarious. It wasn't a date. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on. I have a question. Go on. Did you wear it because... You're dark like Patty Man is, and Jorah was light like Doug. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> there's, well, no. there's actually two photos we took. Yeah. I'd... But, uh. <laughs> Race I, I is ambiguous in Doug. Yeah, it really is. Well, Skeeter's, Skeeter's black. I mean, come on. <laughs> right? You know, when I was little, I never, I never had that thought. I never did either until it was like, only until like college when everyone was go- get going like super proud I, '90s kid that they and bringing I, stuff like that up. I think up. Skeeter's Puerto Rican, mostly because I can't picture a black guy that's listening to the beats. <laughs> that's you know that's <laughs> totally what James told me. Like when we discussed this, he's like, oh, he's got to be like Puerto Rican or something, because he can dance and he hangs out with Doug. Let's be real. <laughs> Hey, but you don't know what Doug has done to get Skeeter's respect. I wonder what well, he... what has he done? <clears throat> he stared at Roger with a quail eye. Oh my! Honestly, I don't know. if that kid, can you? Yeah, okay, do you guys remember Doug? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, can you imagine him giving you the quail eye? <laughs> How fucking weird would that be? Just staring at you, like, like you're getting into some shit with him, and he's just dogging you like that. <laughs> I'd be like, dude. We saw a Quail Man oh. cosplayer at PAX East. We did. Yeah. Oh wow, really? We saw him outside smoking a cigarette, and it was very <laughs> jarring. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. We saw someone cosplay as a Tommy Pickles. Yeah, I actually found his photo. Now that you said that's weird. Creepy. Whoa, that is weird, dude. And he was drinking and smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see then again, the dude that shows Sounded. up in a diaper usually isn't going to be the most. Wow. Wait, there was a quail man at PAX? Is that what you said? Kelly? Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I can crazy. see that. that There's all crazy. tons of cosplays that don't really have a lot to do with gaming, which is whatever. I yeah, remember one of the first cosplays I saw at PAX East 2010 was um, the Cowboy Bebop cosplays. Whoa, really? <laughs> I was just like, what are you doing here? Are you talking about the Man Fae? No, no, it was, it oh, was, a, it was Spike and uh, Faye. Do you remember that, Max? Oh, yes, I do remember that. It's cool. Oh, Man Fae. Oh, Man Fae. Yeah. Manfei is kind of a, the main staple of any anime expo, huh? <laughs> for some reason, when you were talking right now, I thought you were gonna say, "For s- Manfei is a mamado." Uh, who are Did those they have the for- orange couch there? No. Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, oh man. Sense. I have a picture of me sitting on that couch. Oh, like a box. Oh shit! When you went to when did you go to Universal? Oh no! This was um. This was like a Nickelodeon live show that came to the Oakdale Theater. 
Oh, what? Do you guys remember when Nickelodeon had like a live I show so. and they toured the United States? I believe. I, I forgot what it was that. called. Was it a good show? <laughs> yeah, it was a good show. I, I was like nine or something, but. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I kind of nice. wish I had went that opening night with you guys. Yeah. When I saw your cousin there, I was I asked if Marielle was. I was supposed to be there. So you can buy that hook from Bioshock Infinite, James. Oh. I really? No, Is it fully functioning? In real life. Oh, I'll leave it up to you, though. Well, I'd rather cut my arm off. To see if you have to cut your <laughs> arm or not. Ugh. I just keep looking at that I'm Ape photo. I'm all greasy and stupid looking. Nonsense. The only thing that photos, it's weird. The only thing that that shirt does is make you look kind of like wide thuggin. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna Max, say, I never say that again. <laughs> no, you, that's a word now. <laughs> that makes you look like you're, you're ready thuggin. for action. You're ready for action, Jarar. Oh God, no. <laughs> the, ha the happiness in James, though. Can't yeah. That. Yeah, it's, it's that is that is a foreign, foreign. A foreign. Yeah. It's foreign. It's quite beautiful. Gerard, tell your mom that you're talking to James right now. <laughs> and then record the reaction. Uh, I <laughs> record the reaction. Uh, Holy <laughs> kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I did tell her I'm talking to four people, but oh. that's all she needs to know. Okay. Including yourself. Maybe she needs to know more. Does she really need to, though? No. Exactly. I just I just really want to know, like, <laughs> what she'd do. Honestly, if I, if I told her that uh, I'm speaking with James, she's going to just say, who? Uh. <laughs> and then, because cause she, she'll remember people if I just describe it to her. I'll just go, that guy who was sleeping on my bed, she'll be like, oh, that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to know. Yeah. Oh, that fuck, that fucker. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Tell him he's not welcome. Good to know I'm that fucker. Well, that was just that was me joking on my part. No, that's just that's. that's no, I, no, that that's that's good. her. When James first told me that story, I lost my shit, dude. <laughs> Did you see James totally do that? Yeah. Like, oh man. I forgot I, I tell people things. <laughs> Yo, it's all right. What else is everyone gonna be playing? <laughs> I was trying to play some. I I, I got like halfway through uh, Devil May Cry. Uh, oh, which one? The new one. Oh, the new one. How is it? Do you like it? I like it. It's pretty smooth. Nice. Uh, DMC Devil May Cry. It, yeah. Why is it named that? Because it, it's a new one. It's a new Devil May Cry. No, but May it's DMC, cool, yeah, it, Devil it's, May it's Cry. It's literally Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry. Yeah. It's weird. It's, <laughs> it's funny. No, because like, the first one is the actual series, Devil May Cry, and the subtitle is an actual devil crying. You know, oh, wait, what's it called? I, remember, I was talking to Gerard earlier about this, and I was like, yeah, uh, playing that game is like... Like, pretend you have a 14-year-old cousin who likes <laughs> Deadpool and Rage Against the Machine and Shadow the Hedgehog. And you can only... <laughs> so, like, well, fuck, I can only spend about half an hour a day around this asshole. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend that much time with this kid. Like, fuck. Yeah. It's just annoying after a while. <laughs> okay, so... I was going to try to make a joke about the devil and how bed James was lying on the bed and I was gonna say James may lie or or Gerard <laughs> or that Gerard refers to James as the devil that lies <laughs> but it didn't work well, yeah. well I've devil been uh, well I've been playing like I'm in the middle of like four RPGs Dude, which are well RPG? you're crazy because you played romancing three sagas I actually, I'm the only one in the world who likes that game Oh, dude, we should talk because I've been meaning to get into... Rom I've, I've had this weird obsession with trying to get into that series uh, because, I don't know, I as a des like as the designer of those games, 
like intrigues me, and his designs intrigue me too because I think they're Kelly so. Should play this game. What game? He's obsessed with Chinese history, so it just works for him. Oh yeah, oh, romancing. Oh, that's right. God, oh, I still. Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Well, what, what I've been meaning is I, I've been trying to get into romancing saga, but I didn't realize you're talking about Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> say. You were talking about. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm pr- I'm pretty sure Romancing Saga is uh, entertaining. It's just okay. It's just that, though. It's, it's just okay. okay. It's okay. Does the weirdness of those games, like, kind no. of, like, help it in a way? No. No? Uh. No. no. <laughs> well, come on. Like, how many games try to be weird? Um, not, not, not enough. Well, at least nowadays, I feel like not enough. Azure Dreams <laughs> PSX. As your dreams, I saw that too. I was curious about that. The game is weird. All you should over. play. Uh, what was it? No, yeah, Odin Sphere. You should play Odin Sphere. Play uh, oh, I like I liked Odin Sphere a lot. I started a little bit of Shadow Hearts. Cool. Oh, I have that. You have that, Kelly? Well, I'm borrowing it. Did you play it? Indefinitely. No. Because <laughs> oh. I'm playing Persona Four. You don't want to go. I honestly, don't pay attention to the story in Shadow Hearts. Pretty okay. I'll put my earmuffs on because <laughs> <laughs> it's like a uh, pretty damn trophy. Yeah. Well. Well, how I old mean, is it? You know, it's pretty old. It's. Yeah, I think it was like uh, it was close to launch. Maybe it set those tropes up that everyone followed. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can play a game and enjoy it if it has yeah. ropes. It's, it's just. I know I kind of was harsh on 999 about that, but... It's okay. Oops. Oh, yeah, so what did you think of it besides the tropes? Um... <laughs> who, who made that fart now? Was that you, Kelly? Yeah, that was me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so out of character for, like, a split <laughs> second. I, I got all the endings, and... You just couldn't feel it. Yeah. I, I talked about it in a past podcast, I think, but... It's basically like, I didn't give a shit about the characters, and I I just like this thing where I don't like where sci-fi is, like, has a bunch of esoteric words and things that they have to explain to you in giant globs of text, and you- You'll you'll freaking hate Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Because I heard it gets all quantum physics-y at the end. I- I- uh, uh, I it's all think... surgery simulator at the end, James. <laughs> I didn't think the dialogue got that heavy. Did it goes on Maybe trauma center. Wait, what? what? Well, like trauma center at the end? No, I'm just, I was just kidding. Dude. Well, I think part of the problem was like, well, for Kelly, is that it? It is an anime trope. Infinite? Like, no, no, not infinite. I mean, nine nine nine. Oh, nine nine nine. Oh, yeah. Like that. The what, the plot say? or the the characters the or would you say that was like a big problem? Like you couldn't see past the trope. It was just too much in the way. There were definitely there were a couple characters that I liked. Um, mostly, uh, I don't remember their names, <laughs> but the <laughs> the brother and sister, I liked them a lot. Oh, cool! Yeah, cool. and I like the little things they revealed about their relationship. I yeah. enjoyed that, but I couldn't stand Junpei, and I really wanted to, him to die. Oh, that past past those two characters, I didn't really care about any other ones. And the plot was just like I felt like they had the ending first, and then worked their way backwards and tried to build up to this mind blowing ending. But it just kind of was shaky well, leading up to that ending. Yeah, like well, well, I will say like this much. Okay, you, you know the true ending, right, Kelly? Where like, well, I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but think of the, that as Bioshock Infinite how it ends, sort of. On a giant cliffhanger? Not a cliffhanger. No, oh. more, like, more like instead of one choice or another, you get all the endings in one oh. ending. That, okay. I, I, like, I like that you said that. That's why it's called Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's... Oh no, it's not like multiple timelines, is it? No. I hate that. <laughs> 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 Hey Kelly, does that mean it is? Why? What? What's with that laughter? Hey, no, nothing. That is so. I hate. That's a trope or plot device. See, no, that's, no, that's, that's why I'm telling you that you wouldn't like Infinite Kelly because it totally is. 
Oh, cool. And so, so you're not if since you don't like that, you're really not missing out. Mm. So uh, I personally, the think, only thing is, yeah. I think I think Infinite does it a little more tastefully than. Oh no, it does. It totally does. It does Max, it more. You didn't, did you did you play nine nine nine? No, I'm not talking about nine nine nine. I'm talking about <laughs> Infinite. You said it does it more tastefully than. That, I, that I'm I was, sorry. That's no, okay. I was gonna say it was. It does it more tastefully than most other, like sci-fi stories do the whole alternate timeline where it's sort of like a cop-out. This one it really isn't a cop-out. I didn't well, find I'm that. Sure, I'm sure there's people who would think that 999 isn't a cop-out either because the whole story is based around that choose-your-own-adventure type. So wait, character. would you say though, Kelly, after getting the true ending that uh, you think it tied everything together like you didn't have any questions by the end? No, I had a bunch of questions actually. Okay. Well, with but, Infinite, it ties it all together. Like It does. It does, but I will say this for, like, they throw a lot at you in the last 30 minutes, so it that I can see that confusing people, but you know what, Max? Uh, yeah. People people hate a lot. There's people out there who don't like the ending because... Oh, yeah. Like, my good, friends. Good example, like... You don't you don't want it where like an entire game goes dog 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 dog. Oh, it was an elephant the whole time. People don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that analogy a lot. Dog dog dog. I just, I just pictured like you pull back the curtain at the end of that game and there's an elephant like shrugging its shoulders like It's like mm-hmm. what do you oh, want? Oh. Honestly, it may as well just as it may as well be because <laughs> like yeah, yeah, but you you get the idea. They're I th- they are both similar, I think. Infinite and nine nine nine. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I like Infinite a lot. I had a lot of problems with it. Yeah. It's not a perfect ten. I just don't agree. with Oh that. yeah. No, like no way. Oh yeah, no. The the critical praise it's been getting, it's been getting like really high of praise. But all, at the same time, you get a lot of the. Uh, a lot of the people who like straight up are like I want I who are like a, like straight up I don't want to say enraged but they have they have a colorful vocabulary for for that game. <laughs> oh, people have a colorful vocabulary for anything. Yeah, but I just feel like in this case case in particular, there were a lot of expectations for this game, uh, and then and then things and then blew came. up like yeah. crazy. Well, it's it, it, okay. The story's fantastic. Everything else was eh. Uh, the part it, where he loses his arm, though. <laughs> yeah. I got us. Right. That part was just totally sick, and if you don't yeah, like that, that you're an asshole. And I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I'm you know sorry what, James? we spoiled that. Something <laughs> might happen. Something, when you do get the hook, I think you'd still enjoy it, though. Well, you know, yeah. depending on the. Based on. By Shock and Fed's plot that just as well might have happened. Yeah, I know, right? That's yeah. true, actually. That's 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 the crazy thing, yeah. <laughs> so James, don't mm. hold that mm. yet. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's gonna not happen. Wrong about him losing an arm. Yeah. It'll happen. <laughs> it can happen. You're a liar. <laughs> no no, you'll understand. <laughs> You'll understand when you play it. <laughs> Straight up. You're a liar. Face. Yeah, you just you're just like you're a liar. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Well, it's, <laughs> You're a, yeah, oh, that fucker. You know what, we are teasing you at this point, but it's literally a multiverse thing. I'll just say that much. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So who knows, you know? Wow, I'm curious how they could fit that in there. There's already so much stuff going on. They do pretty well. I think they do a good job. Surprisingly you, really well, yeah. Yeah, what I like, though, is that it's not about all of that. It's really just about this one guy, really. I know. It's still a personal story on top of being something crazy. That part we shouldn't talk about. That That's really, like, the, the, like you said, It's that's the core of it. But, yeah. Welcome to yeah. the podcast. <laughs> what about you, Matt? What have you been playing? Oh, man. I've been shot. I've been, okay, the main game that I've been playing. Don't Starve. I don't know why. Oh, is it good? Because I see Dude, it. I thought that game was going to be nothing. I was like, oh, whatever. This looks like a random point and click adventure. That's what I dismissed it as. I was fucking wrong. <laughs> that game is straight up like survival. That's awesome. You have so, to. Made by the people who made Mark of the Ninja. 
Oh, really? Yeah, clay. Oh. oh. Um. If you like Minecraft, but. If you like the survival aspect of Minecraft, but. But with a end game, then you'd enjoy this. Huh. And, uh. I was playing a game on Steam, but I don't want to say hey, Max. You don't want to? Oh, is it that game <laughs> yeah. again? Yeah, how are I you, beat like, it. still... Oh, you beat it? Jesus yeah, remember the Christ. last time we were talking to you on Steam? Yeah. Yeah, I beat, I beat that, game, that game. So, do you feel, like, <laughs> a, any sense of catharsis that, that you've beaten it? Or is it, like, just, like, I want to drink it. more than I, I was? I beat it more than I was. What okay. game is this? Is this a spoiler, if you no, say the name? it's not a spoiler. Max, what game? Resident Evil 6. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> You're not spoiling anything. I there. beat. I yeah. I beat. Uh, well, I didn't beat it. I I just beat Leon's. Jesus. Oh, Christ. okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it just it just get worse and how worse. How that like... game ends, or how Leon's ends, get, leaves you with the most sour taste in your mouth. Have you played it, Gerard? Yeah. Did you beat Leon? Yeah. Did... <laughs> Did you love it when they were like, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> the Dude, I'm just going to say it. That part, okay, at the very end, Hel they like, Helena's like visiting her, the grave of her sister, and there's all these security guards, and Leon's like, hey. Oh, God. Like, like he's basically comforting her, like, she would have been proud, kind of thing, and Helena's <laughs> like, "Well, looks like I know where my story ends." And then Leon goes, "No, they knew you were trying to protect the president. All the charges have been cleared. Come on, come on, let's get out of here." <laughs> That's basically what happens. Yeah, it's <laughs> just it was like what? Stupid. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you never told me what you were supposed to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, she, she. You remember, uh, Gerard? We were talking about. I was talking about with Max. You remember how Helena in the beginning? She's always like, "Yeah, I'll tell you," but yeah. only when we get here. And then when we get there, it's like, "No, I'll tell you," but we need to get here. Wait, I'll tell you, but we need to go over here. Yeah. Like, and then when she finally t does tell her, it's like nothing. Leon's like, "Oh." Okay, let's, oh, fuck, let's not worry right. about that. Nothing. All it was was the fact that I guess her sister was being tested with that C-virus shit. That's it, and that was already kind of known. Yeah, it was the best part. She, and Leon's like, what's going on over here? I'll tell you when we get to the second floor. <laughs> Just tell me now. You can but tell you me while we're running. Happening. And hell, you're fighting with the thing. Yeah, you're seeing it happen. You. And, and then... <laughs> tell you about it and you're fighting the physical manifestation of the thing she's gonna tell you about god tell me what's going on here I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you later yeah and then once she tells him oh don't worry about it did you Shit. beat all the campaigns no, was, I stopped caring dude I started Chris's <laughs> oh holy shit yeah. you thought you thought Leon's was fucking out of absurd Chris is the best dude Chris really? is, Chris's <laughs> campaign this is oh my god! You played the demo, right? Yeah. Ma Max and Ger I know Gerard. Yeah. Okay. You remember that guy in the beginning where, where he like stops Chris from like acting crazy? Yeah. Okay. okay. Look. So Kelly, if you didn't play this, and James, in the beginning, Chris Redfield's a drunk, right? And yeah. he's about to like <laughs> he's about to he's about to fight in this bar with this guy, but this other guy goes, "I never thought I'd see Chris Redfield here." Like, and like, he's all cool and collect. Like, I never thought I'd see you here, Chris. And Chris, like, who are you? Like, uh. like, and then like, as soon as the campaign starts, that guy that saves Chris in the bar, he turns into a hothead. He's all like, "Who the fuck are you, Leon?" Like, he's like going insane. And Chris is the one going like, "Hey, dude, cool it, man. You gotta relax." Yeah. <laughs> it's like the most switches. It's the most <laughs> random thing. It's Shit. it's so. <laughs> In it is so insane that yeah. I need to oh. see where the rest goes, just because. Holy crap! 
what what is going on? Everyone's bipolar. Dude, it it happens literally like as soon as that cutscene ends, his partner like loses his shit like we got to get it right now. Come on, Chris. And Chris is just like, "Yo, dude, calm down." He's <laughs> just like, uh. "What's going on?" <laughs> So that game. I'm not drunk. You are. <laughs> so that game is perfect ten. So it's it's a great B movie. Yeah. I I was <laughs> when I was playing with my friend. I was saying like this is like this is the B movie of video games where everything's so shitty, but it's like you can't not look at it. It's weird and it's mechanics. It's just fucking a mess. <laughs> Like why do you have why do you have a laser sight down a reticule? I think it's just the best game ever. Yeah. And it just you know goes maybe by it everyone's is. head. And we're everyone, stupid. Everyone we're... just doesn't understand. Oh, maybe. Uh... While you're playing Bioshock and Walking Dead, there's agents out there saving lives. Fuck. And not telling other agents. <laughs> information that could be key. <laughs> shit. Shit. But other than that... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did oh. beat Tomb Raider since we last cast. I did beat um, Dragon's Dogma. All fun games. Go check them out. We've talked to death about them. Yeah. I want to read this quote from Wikipedia. Please read it. In May 2012, Capcom announced they expected the game, Resident Evil 6, to sell 7 million copies by the end of this fiscal year. However, they have recently lowered their expectations to 6 million due to the game's reception. (laughs) 6 million? Capcom announced that it had shipped 4.5 million copies worldwide, setting a new record for the company. In October 2012, the game sold... 806,000 copies in the United States. According to Capcom, sales weakened following the strong start, with the publisher admitting that the game would not meet their goals, lowering financial projections for their fiscal year as a result. As of April 2013, 4.9 million copies have been sold. Yeah. I'd like to take this time to remind every listener out there, every video game player, that this is proof that you really should not buy a game based off a of franchise name alone. You should look at who's working on it and make your decision from there. Because if there was a game that you liked, look at the people who actually made it. And then... Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Tomb Raider was a disappointment, too. Right? It was. It took, to Square Enix, yeah. But it was Man. good. Yeah, it was funny. Fine. It was funny. What's what so disappointing? I, I, no, the sales. No, the sales were were not what they projected. I thought they. I thought it sold well. I didn't. Not know. well enough. It sold well, but no. The the problem is it didn't sell well to get them. More like, by the end of the fiscal fiscal year, they're gonna be in the negative. It wasn't enough to get them out of the red. Yeah. I guess. It but sucks. And that's it's... obviously not their fault, but they blame them anyway. So. Whatever. That's really pathetic of them to blame the game. It's all right. Well, because... well, it wasn't just Tomb Raider, right? That was just the last straw. Yeah, because yeah, they weren't. I mean, they they weren't really doing too high. It's all about Final Fantasy It was the same for man. Hitman and Sleeping Dogs. Those failed to meet expectations too. This was just Strike Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Poor Tomb Raider. It's weird how I mean, critically, they they've done well. Yes. Uh, yeah. But oh. like in this whole marketable sense, it's just reminds me of uh. There's a lot of games that did well, like high praise, and they just don't like Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah. yeah. Beyond Good and Evil. I mean, hell, let's take a look at Psychonauts. Like that. That's Ocarina a game that. Time. <laughs> that <laughs> that game? Played those yet? Anybody? What, what was that? Has anyone played both of those? What, Psychonauts? Psychonauts and Beyond Game and Evil? I just installed yeah, I lo- Psychonauts. I loved both of them. Yeah, I, I played both of them. And, um, yeah, I, I played Beyond played Good and Evil. Them, I don't know, Max. In, are they a little overrated? A little bit? No, I, I don't think Psychonauts is. I think, I, 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 liked, I think Beyond Good and Evil has flaws, 
uh, I think Psy- for some reason Psychonauts is like one of those games where I can repeatedly play it, and it's one of those collecting those collecting 3D adventures. Like I don't know why that g- I can play through that game multiple times. Yeah, I like dude, I like doing that. Like, yeah, it just pays like, so well. Oh, you looters! <laughs> I guess kind of like Banjo Kazooie. You just gathered crap. Oh, yeah. I just oh. lost nine thousand cells. Cool. I'm turning this off now. <laughs> oh, you're still playing too? <laughs> I've been playing as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I I just installed Psychonauts, so I own that as well. Yeah. It's in my backlog. It's yeah. It's. I only got up to halfway and I stopped. I don't know why. It's good. I, <laughs> Just, I'm just an idiot, I guess. Maybe, no, no, you're not no, an idiot. Maybe you're yeah. just letting it settle. It is. I can see where like Psychonauts is kind of like mediocre at best mechanically, but I found it tight for some somehow. Like, just oh, you mean the gameplay? No, no, the gameplay and like the dialogue was solid, but I think a lot of it was. Uh, I got lost a lot. Oh, oh, yeah, I could see that. Like, like once w- once you get to like, uh, like story related plot, like. It was easy to follow along. Everything was fine, but uh, the camp was fairly large, I think, and I wasn't sure where to go or who to talk to. Sometimes. Oh yeah, I could. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes that was a little tricky. I remember that getting stuck at a couple. That was parts not too. a game breaker. I just, it was just one of those things where I just one day stopped playing. You know. So, yeah. But that's really it. That's not a complaint about the game. That was just me. Oh, uh, Okay. Have you oh, played Cinemora? Uh I did. What? Yeah. And holy shit, the story in that game is dark as fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. I reinstalled that, and goddamn. Wait, what game? Cinemora. Uh, hey, it's a steampunk schmuck, right? Yeah, and it's made by a... Oh, I'm going to get the... It's not made by Grasshopper. It's made by a small team oh. from somewhere in Europe. Digital uh, reality? What's that? Yeah, that's... Digital reality? Oh. Well, yeah, that was it. Oh, there we go. That game is dark as hell. Sorry, I'm like encountering Smithy now. It's all right. <gasps> oh, but yeah, that game is dark <laughs> as fuck, dude. It was a partnership between Grasshopper Manufacture and Digital Reality. Grasshopper was responsible for the art direction and sound design, while Digital Reality handled the 3D assets, programming, story, and game design. Oh. This is according to Wikipedia. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Wow. I was going to say, Kelly, you said that so eloquently. Yeah, well, I was actually going to ask if you were reading that. No, this is from my head. Kelly's a boss. I'm a database. <laughs> <laughs> my head is, you're, a, is a giant bomb. You're, yes. a dat- you're a data boss. Oh, data boss. damn. Dante Bio. <laughs> Dante Bio. Get out of here, Jim. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. My cousin used to say that a lot in Joker. Oh, jeez. I remember when Paul used to say Sakuchan a lot. Yeah, he stopped saying that because he stopped being a Naruto I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest sl- slang I know for like uh, an anime person who likes that. Hey, are you a Naruto Naruto <laughs> Yeah. Have you seen the, uh, that uh, they're rebooting the Powerpuff Girls? They are. Yeah, oh it's coming back. I like the sound of it's, that. You know, it's weird that that Powerpuff Girls got that Japanese sort of like spinoff when they're Powerpuff a little bit Girls. older. Yeah. Z, right? Yeah. Powerpuff Girls Z. Yeah. Yeah. What's weird is it was more childish, actually. <laughs> yeah. Was it really? Was it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from huh. what I've seen of that, Mojo it's Jojo. way more childish. Well, hell, in the original Mojo Jojo's trying to take over the world in the Japanese version, he's just stealing kids' candy. <laughs> mm. He gave up. He gave up. He's it just like, this is a show. more achievable goal. <laughs> I like how show. whenever that guy talks, he he's just mostly reiterating whatever the fuck he's saying. Well, he refers to himself as the third person. Yeah. and I, I don't know. I, I love it whenever that guy just kind of had things to say. <laughs> I like that guy's talking. I like that guy's the cut of that guy's gym. Yeah. What does that mean exactly? Dude, I don't know. Man. I uh I like, I just just like, like the way he was person. built. Just just, no, it just means his overall character and the yeah, way yeah, that's, that's sort like, of yeah. 
vibe you get from a person. Like the cut. Where, where does the word jib come from exactly? Jib. Uh, How shock infinite. <laughs> <laughs> In one reality, jib exists. Uh, oh, they just got left over, I guess here. Son of a bitch. Son of a the bitch. The jib is a is a it's a part of a a ship, actually. <laughs> Oh. It's the it's the like the triangle, oh. like so, shaped set between. Oh, crap. Let me see. You're so my... like huh. the cut of his jib is like just how well it well was made. Cutted. So that's, oh, that's sort of just see. means how he just he me look his this. character how he was built. Yeah. I'm, I'd like to go on that boat. That looks yeah. like it was a well made boat. If yeah, she trust... let's see if she disliked <laughs> what the sailor calls the cut of their jib. Hey, Gerard, there... do you think the Titanic was a good boat? Uh, well, I like the cut of its jib. Do you think a wrapping dog on the Titanic would be oh, a good God, boat? Oh, God, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, because I told Matt that there were not one but two Titanic the animated movie. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, they were awful. They were awful. They Beyond saw, awful. I saw them as a kid. Oh, yeah, you, you told me about Dude, how... Dude, there was a wrapping how, dog and... in one of them. Yeah. It's a they're, rapping dog that saves mice. Think of an American tale but with Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> There's wow. no good uh, ending yeah, to that. It's it's See, about I'm... it's about the rats, not the people. And in the Senate <laughs> and in the not Senate, in the second Titanic animated movie, like the rats like, no, people didn't die that Yeah, day. that's the best part. <laughs> like that did the not best, happen. Like the that's a misconception. Part. Here's what really happened. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. I cannot believe I I'll, cannot I'll, believe I'll it. just say this much. Pyramid scheme, sharks. <laughs> yeah, that's the plot. That's the plot. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the plot. Like he's the talking bad guy sharks. Is, and you know when you see a movie with a bad guy and he's clearly the bad guy cuz he's the only one with an eye patch. Oh. And he's all, and he like basically he wants to collect the insurance money for when the ship sinks. So he <laughs> hires sharks. To like push an iceberg uh, uh, and sink the boat. Yeah, Jesus. and guess what saves them? Uh, a fucking octopus with a puppy dog head. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? You, and Kelly, hot. you and Kelly How's watch America? this. God bless your soul. You know oh. what you watch to make yourselves feel better? Yeah. Secret in them. Oh, that movie's awesome. Uh, actually, it's, it's so, so good. Uh, yeah. you, wow. Actually, this reminds me of Kelly and I went to Stop and Shop once. Um, and they had a, it was like a <laughs> third-rate Aladdin movie. Mm. Uh, so we got to watch it. We, we bought it, it, didn't we? Or we someone did. We did. Bu- I bought it. Oh, you <laughs> the, the hesitation, I bought it. I, I bought it. Uh, it, uh, it was like, the, the genie was yellow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had to say. I don't know, I've... I've seen some pretty bad animation, uh, Gerard. I've oh, seen this, this remember, fucked up version you, of Anastasia. Okay. Dude, that was bad. That's... I don't know, man. I remember Gerard showed me this one movie, and it was like six minutes of going through a tunnel. Lit- it was literally that. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Uh, it was, I was like, this will be over in like 20 seconds, right? No, that tunnel sequence was six minutes. Oh so, my god! So they just couldn't it, figure out how to edit it, something properly, or it's like a colonoscopy. <laughs> colonoscopy. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And uh, I forget the names of the movies. I have to look at them later. But I own two of them, and they were dubbed by like two guys in their bathroom home. This was like yeah. the eighties. <laughs> their bath. Yeah, it's funny. You can hear the vent in the back. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. In the other movie, you can hear one of the dudes turn on the sink. <laughs> it's like while one dude is talking, you hear a sink come out of his mouth. Get out of here. Just go. Yeah, so. Yeah, so... Oh, so did anyone play Luigi's Mansion lately? I want, I want to do. I look so fun. What about you, Matt? I started if I had first... it, I'd play with you online, but I don't have it. James? Um. I'm not gonna buy it, <laughs> Kelly. I'm not gonna buy it yet. I'm sorry. It's the year of Luigi. We have to celebrate. It's time for you to talk Luigi. about it then. To be honest, it's not a very good year. Oh really? 
Well, go well, come on, like what, what what's it. coming out that's like really a Luigi? Oh, it. oh, oh! I thought you were I thought you were making a like a a remark that these Luigi games so far weren't very good. No, that that is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Oh. Wait, well, there's more than one Luigi game that's coming out. Well, well, I mean, I guess not specifically Luigi. Not... I I want more games with Luigi, but well, well, the other two. Okay, we got Luigi's Mansion. We got Luigi uh, New Luigi brothers do oh, really? dlc for it, it's basically dlc right and then and then there's the mario and luigi dream team yeah that oh, that yeah. looks okay but that's not like luigi's not the main character it's sort of like with bowser's inside story bowser's not the main character don't say he's the main character <laughs> he's the main level he is the the world Though they could make things oh so right with it, because it's Luigi's dream. Yeah. There should be a level where he's just fucking killing Mario, and Mario. <laughs> hey, Luigi! What is it? This? There's no. It's not. It's, it's just awkward. There's no music. It's yeah. just. It's just <laughs> it'll be like, I don't know. It'll be like a, a episode of Channel Illinois. Like we'll be, we'll become who we want to be, and in, in the dream, he's just Mario. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he goes I, to Mario. So... I don't know. I was so just gonna say. Did this just come out for the 3DS? Yeah, it actually came out the weekend uh, of PAX. Yeah. It came out that Sunday, which is oh, really. Oh, so it's not on the Wii U. Luigi's no, match. It's on 3DS. It's 3DS. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if there when they made a Wii U version. Too. Oh, there is no Wii. If there was, I would have gotten it for the Wii. Well, that's what I was asking, because I had no idea. No, no, no. That would have been sweet, but no. So why? Why? <laughs> why did they make a Wii U? No, I honestly don't. I haven't been following this at all. I knew that a new Luigi's Mansion came out, but I didn't play the original, so I don't know anything about it. So I just assumed that it was. It came out on the Wii U, and I because that it came out on a right on a. On GameCube, right? The first one? Yes. That's right, yeah. So I just, I didn't know that it came out on a handheld. It seems yeah. silly. Uh, it was just 3DS. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, one of the reasons is sort of like the Luigi's Mansion isn't necessarily a game. I mean, I, this is part of the cynical, like, you know, it's about how much money they're willing to put into it because how well is Luigi's Mansion going to sell? Uh, I so, thought it would did sell it, good. Did did it sell well on the GameCube? I don't know. It did. It did? It oh. It played its choice, and it sold past two million. Oh, what the fuck? Then they should put that on the Wii U. <laughs> that is a weird decision. The thing is, I don't believe, like, Luigi's Mansion was, cons- like, they wanted it to sell, and if it was yeah. released on the Wii U, it wouldn't have sold well. It is the fifth best-selling GameCube game in the United States. What's the first? Huh. Wind Waker? Sma- Smash. I bet. Uh... Smash. No, it was yes, seven point oh nine million. Yep. You guys want to guess the other uh, four or uh, Metroid three? Prime, Wind Waker? No, no? Wind Waker. Oh, yes, not Metroid. Uh, Metroid Prime is in the top ten, though. Huh. Uh, Let me think. Eight. Metroid Prime is number eight at two million. Don't tell me, uh, Sun- oh. Mario Sunshine. Yes, number yeah, three. Yeah. Whoa, what was number three? Sorry. Mario Super Sunshine. Mario Sunshine. No, what? Uh, okay. Sunshine so well. I, I like. I like Sunshine too. I although too. it does get some uh, some hate by people who do not like it. Like some very. Oh, there's a lot of hate. Yeah. I don't hate Sunshine. <laughs> I, I, never played I read it. a lot of hate for that game. Yeah. Which I don't get. I don't get it's, either. It's it's fine. Yeah. So it's what's weird. number two? Oh, what is number two? I'm gonna guess Twilight Princess. It, it's gotta it be. can't be. Dash. Yes, Gerard is correct. What what was it? Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart. Oh. Yep, you named them all. Good job. Number one is Smash Brothers Melee. Melee. Number two is Double Dash. Number three is Sunshine. Number four is Wind Waker. And number five is Luigi's Mansion. And that's our quiz for the week. Oh, and what? <laughs> and Metroid Prime is number eight. Do you guys know number six and seven? Uh. That wow, that uh was like yeah uh, perfect. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna name oh. some of the uh. What is it? What, what was considered a... Oh, uh, what about Sonic Adventure 2? I know that sold great on the GameCube. Which is funny. 
not one of the not six and seven. I don't think okay. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna say <laughs> random shit. Eternal darkness. <laughs> uh, I think it's, oh well. Okay. It's You're really missing a big Mario one. Well, um, what about the Mario parties? Oh shit, Paper Mario? Oh. Mar Mario Party 4. <laughs> Max, you're like, wait! Oh, in in my fucking... Actually, well, that's Paper Mario did get bestseller, but I was just thinking in my fucking dreams. Actually, what about Pikmin? I know that sold okay. No. Yeah, what you... Animal Crossing? Yes. Gerard oh, wins. Nice. Damn. <laughs> you're good. Well, I love the GameCube. Animal Crossing is number six, and Mario Party 4 is number seven. I love the game. I, will, I wish I. It's so I want to try the the N sixty four version of Animal Crossing. It, oh, the GameCube version is a remake of it. Yeah, I know, but oh, I want to play it with its crappier graphics. Ah, uh, yes. So it feels it, so bad. You know what I dare you to play? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you Pikachu. I actually liked it as a kid. Me too, because I was like, oh man, I'm talking to Pikachu, this is crazy. But it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and then I got Seaman, and I was like, oh man, I'm talking to Seaman, this is crazy. Man, Seaman. Oh god, I was playing Seaman with a, f a couple friends, and we were basically just doing it for fun, so basically every time we do what we need to do each day, we just we just fast forward the clock a day yeah. and I fucking and we did we were getting pretty far and then I accidentally fast forwarded it a year and then I I did the same thing and he and then Leonard Needmore goes I'm sorry to tell you that your seaman is dead <laughs> that's awesome in his Leonard Nimoy voice I love Leonard Nimoy yeah, he told he's me so this. old he told how old is he now <laughs> Older than time. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. It's pretty old. You want to guess? <laughs> uh, 85. Shit. You are. God damn, that's he's old. A little, he's a tiny bit younger than that. God. 83? He's like 80? 80... 84. Damn, he's in his 80s? Yeah, dude. I mean, 80 Star Trek Man. Dude, I mean, Star Trek was country. back in the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's that sucks. That that, that, At least he's still alive. I know, but damn. But he's going to die. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty rough. I don't he's know why I'm saying this. <laughs> I mean, he's popular enough for people to make sure no, he No, but like... <laughs> yeah, gonna, like I, gonna, when I saw yeah. him in that that J.J. Abrams Star Trek, he's in it, and I was like, oh man, look at all that makeup to make Leonard Nimoy look old. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> realize he was really that old. Yeah, he is. Oh, they were like, "Here's your coat. Go for it." Yeah, I know, right? They're just like, hey. honestly, that I, I honestly did think that was a good scene. That was the only time I laughed. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> when, when it's when it's like, I am Spock. Yeah, that movie. Wait, what, James? I still haven't seen that Star Trek. It was oh good. shit! Um, anybody got Netflix accounts I can borrow? <laughs> I've already exceeded my uh, maximum amount of devices. I never use Netflix. How many maximum devices? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know there was a maximum. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think what friend... is it? Uh, uh -oh. I think it's I think it's like six or so. Oh um, man, I did not know that. Yeah. Did they tell you I, that? They'll tell you like I tried to sign it up with uh this other with well, a friend's Xbox and it was like uh you only have one more activation left and I was like well no nah, I'm sorry friend I'm not gonna let you do this. <laughs> oh man, I, I might need this activation. <laughs> well, you don't really have to activate it if you're just gonna watch it in a browser, right? Mm, that's not true. Oh, what? Yeah. How do they know? Uh, I do not I know, nothing. but one time I did sign in, and it was like, you can manage your shit. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, so... I'm gonna look now. I just, I lost 77,000 souls, and then I lost 50,000 souls. Uh, uh, that's heartbreaking. Can we talk about how hot what? Zachary Quinto is for a second? Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought you were about to say something serious, and... <laughs> Like, can we please? I thought you were gonna be like, can we please talk about video games? What we've been doing, and then who's hot? Uh, we kill you. Spock. Zachary Quinto. Okay. I played. I played the little bit of that Star Trek game. Man, they modeled them pretty well. I I just looked yeah. at a picture of that. I was like, wow, this looks pretty good. You know, Zachary Quinto is Irish Italian. Oh, just like you, huh? Oh, he... talk about that with him. You could be like, hey, I'm Irish and Italian too. What's up? And they'll be like, come on, what interesting. Was, what's his name again? Doesn't he, doesn't he look like Eli Roth's younger brother? <laughs> Eli, Eli Roth, wait. The guy from Glorious Bastards. I was going to say, Eli oh. Roth. 
Oh, you know what? He kind of does. He kill you. What? How far are you in P4? I am in October, and I just rescued... Oh, oh, shit, I mean, I'm still in September. <laughs> Fuck. That's okay, you're only a month behind. I thought you were gonna be like <laughs> February. Thought, or I'm only a year ago. Still, dude, you're already like almost about to beat it. Basically. Well, I've been powering through it. I've been staying up till 5 a.m. So wait, playing was this it. your first time playing it? Really? Yeah. Um. Yes. I don't know. What did you think so far? I, I, I don't have enough time to like sit there. What? Because <laughs> I don't know. I uh, last time I played. I lost an hour of gameplay because I died. And now I, are you playing it on hard? No, it's on easy. Oh, I'm playing on normal and I'm not having any <laughs> issues. Oh, well, I sorry. suck. At every <laughs> <laughs> I also grind for like 10 hours in every dungeon, so. Oh, yeah, I see, I don't do that. I grind a oh, lot in the beginning, and then I don't do it anymore. Oh. oh. I thought I was going to be like that, but then I was like, okay, I am so overpowered for this dungeon. I'm just going to breeze through it, and it never happens. Yeah, I always spend It, it freaking... always feels like you get through just with enough. Not me. My problem is that I have the opposite problem. I don't know if you'd call it a problem where, I mean, I start out, and it's, like, super easy, but because it's so easy and I'm overpowered, I just want to keep going and going and, and beating That's... more monsters and collecting more personas. And then by the time you know it, I'm probably like 15 levels above where I need to be at the moment. See, I don't even um, know how to fuse personas. What? I don't even know how to fuse personas. What do you mean? <laughs> you, when you go into the room and you select a persona and you fuse yeah. it with the other one? Yeah, I don't know how to do it right. What do you mean? Like, um, aren't, don't you have to, like, fuse it with certain ones to get better ones? Yeah, but, it, oh, you're playing, see, you're playing the original, right? So, yeah. I don't know if, I, I think they made it a lot easier in, in Yeah, Golden. they did. Oh, they did. Yeah, Could so. Breathe easy, see, James. They made it a lot easier. They they let you know exactly what, what persona you're, you're gonna get, and then you can choose what uh, um, abilities it gets. Wait, they they don't in the original P4 did they did they they did not tell you what persona you were gonna oh. get? No, they didn't tell wow. you. Wow, that's pretty crazy, especially they for Mega Ten, because usually it, it it would tell you, but you have to like it's such a guessing game. Huh? They, I mean, they tell you, but it's a guessing game. I mean, they tell you what's going to happen, but they they don't give you, like, enough options of, like, just giving you, like, do they, uh, how does it work out in, in P4G? One thing that I do know that uh, is not in the original is that you can look up a huge list of the personas that you can make right now at the moment with the personas you already have. Yeah, yeah I can't do that at all. See, yeah, I mean, since there's... I don't have that option. I just don't make any. Oh, ever. But you That's need to you keep to do, using them and 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 leveling them up and making cool personas and. Yeah, I, I realize I realize that. Well, it's too late. I mean, I. Oh, it's it's never too late, James. I, I'm assuming that, like in other Mega Ten games, I mean, you could just start making something now, and it should be your level, right? Like the levels of your personas that. No, I feel like every other thing that I fuse is twenty levels higher than where I'm at. Well, that, uh, yeah, that no, that definitely happens too. But you should still be getting like choices for stuff. Um, granted, I'm I, I'm I'm not sure. I, I've never played a Persona game, but uh, I mean, is that is that the case, Kelly? Gerard? You also you can't fuse a Persona that's a higher level than you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you go to a dungeon and you collect, you can collect personas by defeating enemies and then yeah. you fuse them together and make better ones. So wait. when you. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Go on. I was, I was just want to say is, ask is, when you collect personas, do you have to talk to them and then convince no. them to join your side? No, okay, no. So no they're just cards, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, that's another thing is you can pick which card you get in, in Golden. 
Yeah, and... Jin so said it was like a guessing game in the original. You, get a roulette yeah. thingy. you don't get a roulette thingy at the end of your battles, do you? It's a bunch of cards come up and you can pick exactly which ones you want. Jin oh. said it's sort of like a, um, that where's the where's the nut sort of game where the cards flip around and you have to keep your eye on the one you want. Is that how uh, it works? Yeah, that's kind of how it is in the original. Yeah, in the Vita, that's not how it is. In the in the in in Golden, all the cards are laid out for you, and you can just pick which one you so, want. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> See, oh, they you, really did change a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens in the, like the original? Much it's like yeah, it's a roulette game. There's one card, and like five of them are like either are are penalty cards. You, you, <laughs> you would get experience from the fight you just got <laughs> fucked up in. <laughs> and, uh, the other uh, the other stuff okay like they're blank cards so you you still get experience but you don't get anything like you don't get anything special like yeah, another that's a lot card. different i can see why grinding would be less fun yeah because some because like uh, a good maybe like three out of ten times um the grinding won't pay off because of things like that I'll show you... Oh, here's a good screenshot of what it looks like. Cool. Uh, so, it's pretty much like you can pick any one you want. Oh, that's so nice. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of that's hell so this cool. game is? <laughs> no, I don't. And I will never know. Cause In the original, they made you pull out an actual gun and then play Russian roulette with yourself. It was horrible. <laughs> See, see, Max, this is why, like, when Jin and I mentioned the fact that you own the original, and it's like, oh, Max, you're missing out on the upgraded version. It has so much, it's so, but I don't know, I think you can, you'd be able to handle it, but it's just like, it's so nicer, and yeah, it's also got a lot of extra fo extra stuff, like, it's got concert footage from when, yeah. like, like, they actually, they performed the Persona so sound songs live. And oh, they have, what they did? Yeah, they have concert footage, God like damn. live concert footage you can watch. And they have a like a a qu like a quiz, a Persona quiz that's actually oh. really cute because it's the, act the characters and you are going head to head in a like a game show style quiz. And it Aww. sounds like P4G is so like so good. It's much better. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Well, wait. It's, it's, not, <laughs> so it's not gonna justify buying a Vita, is it? Well, Vita's getting some good stuff. I think slowly but surely. That game is worth it, personally. Well, what do you what do you think of it, Kelly? Like, w would you say that had? Well, it has tropes, but you seem to enjoy it. Well, that's the thing. Uh, I feel like it's they're few and far between. Yeah, and it's there's not, enough genuine. Yeah, genuine heartwarming stuff where all the tropey moments are just kind of like yeah okay i'm just gonna so, something like that just happened uh you actually, think that i am daisy uh, comic thing that I posted? Oh, oh i i watched i watched the whole thing that was actually really funny yeah it's it's really <laughs> fun it's entertaining once you play it yeah i loved it uh, my favorite part was uh when nanako cried <laughs> my favorite part was the the coffee social link yes oh, yeah. like oh, oh god <laughs> but yeah i thought that was, that was done really well yeah it was the voice at the the voices they caught for that was yeah. were really a great job yeah it sounded close to the real thing i thought the i don't know the original shia voice was better yeah that's the thing i don't uh, yeah. when Jin heard Shie's new voice, he was like, "I like her old voice a lot more." And yeah. I, I'm old voice was a lot more mellowed out and a lot less high. Yeah, it's kind. Of, she's kind of annoying at times. Oh, that's and they made her sound more like a girl. Would you say like just like some? She, her voice was really affected at times that it didn't really need to be. You know? Yeah. Like, like you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> but I. She's so I much. Decided she's just, so chill. Yeah. Well, I took the plunge and I decided to date Yukiko. Oh man. I just see her and I'm just like, oh, you're so cute and quiet, and all the boys like you, but you refuse <laughs> to admit it. You're so cute. ah, I love you. You're so Why? bad. Why did you not like Yukiko? So I don't feel Yukiko. sorry for her. What? <laughs> I don't like Yukiko at all. Why? <laughs> She's so cute. So... Oh man. <laughs> you really have to play in a bit because it's gonna what? sound fucked up. I don't know. I, I don't. Know. I thought. I don't know. I, I ended up dating Chie. If I knew Rise was gonna be a choice later, then I would have. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yukiko just kind of like just kind of felt like a victim player to me. Well. She was almost killed. <laughs> True that. Let's be real. But, I don't know. Oh, you mean like... I don't want to inherit my fucking parents' fucking company. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. With I'm the, so I, sorry. With oh the I Am Daisy comic, where <laughs> it was that. symbolic that she's a bird in a cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Well, you, yeah. Both of you, neither of you like Yukiko? Um, it's oh, okay. Yeah. No, 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 I, I, honestly, I like all of them in their own way. I like all of them except Rise. Yeah, yeah, Rise would be my least favorite, too. Yeah, Rise is, like, the least likable, but I'm shallow. You, but you, you want to know what's funny? How we, like, we're spending 10, 15 minutes about which girl we're dating, and it's, I just find that They're funny not- because oh. I, I had this conversation with my friend, Russell, who I introduced the game to, and we're talking about it, and just some dude was asking us, oh, who are these two girls? I've never met them. They sound cool. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, I just realized what you're doing. Like, we're talking about how cute our sim sim wives are, you know? And it's, uh. Cool. And I'm it's like, so great, oh. though. Wait, what? I think I mentioned how I felt about, like, that's how Persona 4 made me feel. The f- like, when I first started talking about playing this game, it's like, it's a fun game. It just kind of reminded me how lonely I actually <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> quick, someone say something. <laughs> say something! Oh, God. I, okay. There is a girl for everyone, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Jin told me that he dated Rise, even oh. though he found her annoying, because according to him, you get the best item for dating her. Yeah. And I called him shallow, basically. <laughs> uh, what's the item? I didn't know there were items anyway. It gives you, it gives you more SP or something. I don't know. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah. SP basically... I, that's pretty good. I'll, and it's what I rely on until the fight's over. Well, you know, in, in the original, you could actually date all the girls and just pick the one on Christmas to date. <laughs> yeah, I heard... I think he did that. He, he felt sketchy dating multiple girls. But the funny part is, is that funny it's a because... game, and it's like... Yeah, we'll go on. It's funny because, like, he doesn't feel sketchy about dating one girl just for just the, to get an the item. item. That but he feels, he feels he's dead. It's funny, because I know a guy in high school who dated a chick for a PSP. <laughs> was his oh my god. That's a, pretty, that's, a, that's a pretty good item. Uh. <laughs> I think the reason why I, I pick Yukiko, and I actually was thinking about writing something about this, is because when you play Persona for at least the, the whole dating aspect as mm-hmm. a girl, it's for me, is interesting because I wasn't so much projecting myself onto the male lead, yeah. In so much as Attached I yourself. saw myself as the girls, and I wanted to pick the girl that I identified the most with to get the guy. Yeah, you know, I can. Does that make sense? Yo, it does. Yeah, well, Hell yeah. That's... Yeah. yeah, which, which well, character you like, saw? It you kind of played more. I... To be honest, I still kind of saw it that way. Like, yes, no, so did like, I. Like, if, if I'm being honest, I like that... relate to the most. It's all quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of saw it that way, too, in some weird way. Mm-hmm. So who are these girls? <laughs> so, honestly, you know what? It's better to just tell you to play it, you know? I just want to play this game. Uh, it's like no, I, I want, I can, can you introduce me to these girls, James? What if someone said this, that? This, what's it called? Uh, did Azure Skies... Dreams. Well, I forget what that game was. What was it called? Azure, Azure Dreams. Dreams. Yeah. Did it, did it have anything like this yeah. going on? Yeah, it did. Right? It did, right? Yeah. So, like, it, can you talk about a little bit about those choices? Um, they are not in detail like this. <laughs> the point of that game was to collect monsters and be a player, dude. Because it didn't matter. You could date. You can end up dating any girl you want. Like, didn't matter, dude. So it's kind of like Harvest Moon. I heard you could do that in Persona Three. If you're, if you're a wait, player. Wait, what? I heard what in Persona Three that if you date, date everyone, it'll fuck up. Oh no, no, I've I've played yep. finished Persona Three, and that one, it's more like it's not even dating. That system was weird. Okay, you all know about the social links. What's weird about having friends with girls in that game is that if you're getting just close with her, like not even dating, if you get close with one of the girls, the other girls will hate your guts and the card will turn upside down and be crossed out. <laughs> so Women. you can't use that <laughs> so you can't use that type of card unless you make up with her. Uh. <laughs> so, I would, so I would max my social links with all the guys, but all the girls, I would just... I would just bring my social links up to five because any further and all the girls would be pissed. Man. <laughs> but not only that, if you go above five and it's like at six or seven, you don't have the choice to either have them be a friend or date. When you're at that point, that's where it's like a permanent date girlfriend, you know? Do you want to be my permanent date girlfriend? <laughs> that's, that's how... Do you want to be my seven? That's girls can't. In in Persona, oh, in Persona Four, you would know actually. Remember how in Persona Four, like, uh, the entire cast uh, took a field trip to the city. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was the Persona Three area. Oh really? Huh. Yeah. Huh. And uh, yeah, that teacher and remember that school president chick. Yeah. Yeah, she 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 was the biggest bitch in P three. <laughs> <laughs> Really? The yeah. one with the glasses? Yeah. She like she was the shy, quiet one, and now she's changed into like, you know, a a smart girl, I guess, and she's awesome and class president and everyone likes her. But in P three she was shy and quiet, but the moment you hang out with another girl, she'll hate your fucking guts. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah. Enough. Oh. And you have to hang out with her just to get her to be okay with you again. It took a lot of work. Mm. Girls take a lot of work. Yeah, they do, especially in P <laughs> four. Where it's just a game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. P four, it's just a game. <laughs> Is there a Yaoi version a of P four for James? Yeah. Is there a Yaoi version? Yeah. Um, for James. For James? Yeah. P four. Yeah. You're still <laughs> the same guy, but instead you go after other guys. Well, act. Well, that. Well, the PSP version of P three did that. James oh, is yeah. a PSP emulator. You could play as a female and date the dudes instead. No, I mean you play as a dude and you date the dudes. Full yaoi. Persona 2 did that. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, one really? of the characters was, uh, was gay for the main hero. And you can actually pursue a relationship. What? Jin is playing that now. I'm not going to tell him. Awesome. Well, that's, he, that's... he should prepare for some gay... <laughs> what if you like walk in as like there's something going That's on? It. And you're That's like, it. You should prepare for some gay. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to like walk in scratching your stomach, looking at him while he's in bed, just playing the game, and you look at him with his like little look and just go, "You should prepare for some gay." And then you walk out, and I'm like, "I'm gonna go grab a beer." <laughs> <laughs> Why is my internet oh. going crazy? I'm sorry I threw the controller at you. 
was an accident. That's okay. <laughs> Does this uh, Vivid Gamer website have screen caps of like a bunch of games? What? 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 Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I just found oh. it on Google Images. No, it's just okay. a. Uh, it's just like a blog, James. Like a blog news oh. site. Is is there any good ones anywhere? Blogs, video game blog, whatever. But blog it's... depends on the writers. Oh yeah, yeah I'm... actually, just go to good. dude, go to actionbutton.net. That's my favorite. That that shit's fucking incredible. Action button. <laughs> okay. They have some of the best reviews, like for games I've ever seen. They're actually creative. Hmm. Wait, Kelly, what was what was the writer that you said you liked? Was it Tim Rogers or who was it that? Uh, from from what? From you gave me you sent me a review from ActButton.net and it said it was from a writer that you liked and I don't remember which one it was. Justin McElroy um, didn't write it, but he's the one who said it was a really good review. Uh, and it's okay. when I don't I don't know who wrote it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but J- Justin McElroy is really cool, and I would, yeah. What makes him cool? <laughs> I would blame him. What was that? What was, he's, fu- was that? he's funny. <laughs> he's really funny. He He's the editor at uh, Polygon. Po- Polygon is a good site. But where was that going when you said I would, and then you cut yourself off? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd say things. Okay. Fair enough. To get uh, McElroy in here, and see I, I was. Gonna, I think I was gonna say I would follow him, but then I realized I already was following him, so I don't know, and I don't want to be presumptuous and tell people no, who could... they should listen to. No, the, I mean that. Just saying that's fine. I mean, like he's the Max. You remember he was the one on Giant Bomb who was talking about the Sherlock Holmes game. Oh uh, yeah. That and he was funny. The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Which apparently yeah. came out and got good reviews. Yeah, I have that game for some reason. And I still haven't played it. Oh, shit. Well, what's that game like? Um, it's another Sherlock Holmes Sherlock detective Holmes. game. You solve puzzles in first or point third clicky? person. What? Is it a point and clicky? You can make it a point and clicky. You can actually... I think it's like the one of the... Maybe one of you guys can tell me there's another game, but it's the first game I've seen where you can change from a first-person view and a point-and-click view. Really? Wow. On the fly, huh. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the first. That's the first. Uh... Oh God, no! Because like, yeah, I'm, I'm still fighting Smithy. And he's <laughs> what? His, Man, he's in his true form. You should, uh... I guess maybe it could be like a, uh... I guess... Watch, here. I took two screenshots of it. I remember. Of one in its first-person view, and one in its, uh... Yeah, here they are. Mm. That, and that. It's weird, man. I've never seen a game do that. Huh. It's pretty cool. I like that. That's a pretty picture. That looks cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really pretty. It's yeah, like yeah. it reminds me of Amnesia, but nice. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Like a, a nice little fun romp with Sherlock. Oh, Holmes. that looks very nice. Did everyone quality go Did down? Call quality drop a yeah. lot just now. Yeah, yeah. At, at some point, Skype just decides eh, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And Skype's like go. five people in one. Come on, what do I it, look like? It works whenever it feels like a it. Craigslist personal ad. Kind of. Craigslist personal ads. Yo. Uh, don't ever go there if you're curious, because one time I just wanted to see what people posted up. <laughs> Holy shit. These dudes. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go if you seriously want if you seriously know. Straight up, one of them was like, yeah, bukkake session. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Perfect. Whoa. Perfect. James, bukkake session. Link me. <laughs> Talk to me after. Um, Are you sick? Mm. Oh yeah. shit! So what the um, fuck? Ever since I got my computer, one of the things that is that actually impressed me, I got like the fucking like 
We got one of those Candy Crush Saga invites from Umax. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I like for once, it's like actually running smoothly. <laughs> no. oh. Wow, holy shit. Did they get better at Facebook games? Yes, that that game is evil though. That game is really evil, but it's it's more fun than anything else I've played. They made a game for Facebook that's kind of like Pokemon. They did. Yeah, uh, and it's by Insomniac. Huh? What? Oh shit! That's right. I heard about that. I thought that was weird that they were doing that. What was it called? Um, let me look. I had it at one Spyro point. Spyro the Dragon. Oh, Spyro. Oh. Astro oh. something. I don't know. Fuck. Oh. That again. It's decent. It's decent. It looks like, yeah, they realize, they, at some point they realize we can't m- make, continue making shit anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know how, I don't see how far they've gotten because I don't really keep up too much with uh, social social games of that sort because I'm just not into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, I guess we should be. We're video game enthusiasts. we got to cover everything. Uh-huh. Nah. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. What else? I guess, uh, Kelly, you're pretty much just playing Persona 4, right? I'm also playing Dance Central 3 a lot, oh. actually. Yeah, how's that going? You still, uh, still kicking ass? Yeah, it's got a challenging learning curve, actually. Huh. I'm still, I'm still having trouble doing medium. I'm still trying to learn. Would you do any of those moves without the game? Yeah, actually. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of people post videos of themselves doing the routine on YouTube. Mm. One night, I, I, that's what I did for like a half hour, was just watch people dance, like do the dances. But I, I beat another game actually in a couple days. You this did. was this was like a month ago though, and I didn't mention it to anyone. Okay. Uh, but I think I'll I can talk about it now. So, at PAX East, uh, I swung by the Pop Cap booth. Cool. Um, you might see where this is going. Uh, and they they gave out um, pieces of paper with codes on them, and one of the codes was for a free copy of Peggle. Oh. So, like, just put just like uh put the address in your browser and they download for free copy of Peggle. So I was like, "Oh, I might as well do that." Isn't isn't that game fun? Yeah, it's a decent picture. I had never played Peggle before. Oh. And I like I knew it was I I knew it was uh you know, a pop cap game and it was a casual game, but I really didn't know how the the mechanics worked. Yeah. I I beat it in two sittings and Oh. It was really fun. Right? Yeah. It is it's, it's really it's fun. A game. And it's one of those games where I it's fun cuz you can multitask while you're doing it. I listened to podcasts while I was playing it. So I I didn't feel like a total piece of crap just, you know, sitting there <laughs> just just launching. consuming one media. Did you, get Did you hear that pop cap? Fucking you, you we won't feel like a complete piece of shit if we miss <laughs> something else besides okay. stupid. If you, if you play Peggle for a half hour, okay. But I like I played Peggle for like four hours straight. Oh, 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 oh shit! Man. That's so, pretty, that's pretty wild. hardcore. Casual game. Hardcore casual. Um, it was really it, it just. It's addictive, right? It's yeah. addictive, and like the the sounds are so good, and the music, and like the fact that when your ball. Like it's really close. Everything kind of slows down and zooms yeah. in. Yeah. That drum roll sound. Yeah. And then the audio cues are pretty done. And then when well. you when you get that last block and Ode to Joy starts playing and there's yeah, it's fireworks. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like it, it feels like an accomplishment. It's like. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. So that was really fun. And I think I learned stuff about you know we get just game design in general and how to make a really fun uh, game that makes people want to keep playing 
but and then I played it like after I beat it I played it one or two days after that and then I was like I I took the icon off my desktop and was just like no you have <laughs> get, no more <laughs> get back to work <laughs> get <up> persona <laughs> but that's all I have to say about Peggle it was it was a fun romp thank you very much PopCap you make good games I really like Bookworm that's my favorite PopCap game is that like a word search yeah Bookworm is is where you get a bunch of random tiles and you need to find string them together to make words loco i think i've played it before i think i've sucked at it because it's like dang them i don't see how i can sell that word no matter how hard i try (laughs) (laughs) i took a screen cap once Mm -hmm. i spelled out vagina and that was like the best word i ever spelled (laughs) vagina that's Vagina. It's the best word Kelly ever spelled. It's hard. It's it's hard to make a long word like that. No, I don't. I don't doubt it. I, I just, that it's that hard, line was funny. It's hard to make a word longer than five letters. So, anybody? Uh, I got stuff. You got? I got, st- I got stuff. What stuff? You I want feel to like talk? I haven't. I. I feel like I haven't been playing a lot of games, but at the same time, I realized that I have been just in smaller chunks. I just because uh, I've been doing this programming course, and um, you know what, me and Max bought. Tell him. We fucking bought Fizz. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Just did you play it? Yet? No, it's not out no. until May first. Oh, it hasn't come out yet. No. Steam? no. A week from today. Apparently, yeah. Phil Fish put up a tweet that said, "Oh, not Fez even a is tweet, number dude. one, dude. It's oh, not even a it? tweet. He said it in Steam's forum. Oh, he did. He yeah. said he said looks like Fez is number one on sales today. It's not even out. <laughs> Hold on, I'll I'll find it for you guys, and you guys will be like, holy shit. Sounds like Phil Fish. He doesn't he doesn't give a fuck. Take that, nerds." <laughs> But like the way, I don't know, the way most of these um, independent dudes like come off as like, oh, don't give a fuck. It's like, dude. No, no, he 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 cares. He does. But, but he's yeah, he talking cares. about all the he's talking about all the people who were. Well, just read that. What he's like. <laughs> okay, I'll read it. I saw him laughing about it on Twitter. <coughs> you should boycott harder nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope it gets pirated like so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, he's releasing it on Good Old Games, which is a DRM-free uh, service. Oh, okay. Which I mean, James is good. Here. James don't. Care. He has faith in the nerds that he bullets. <laughs> Wait, it sounds like he expected them to to boycott it. What, why were, were people... Did people well, have an objection to I it going on? I think it's because he was, like, saying, oh, this can never work on a PC or something. It's not so much the game. It's the personality he's thrown on the table so far. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people voice how much they want to boycott his ass. Oh, I see. You think he's um, like that in real life? No, he's not. <laughs> I've met the dude. He what, DJ'd for IndieKid. What if he was like, hey, James, boycott her or you... Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn he around. Says when he's shaking your hand. <laughs> uh, unprovoked. <laughs> he's like, you call that a handshake, you fucking nerd? More like a hand job. Uh, <laughs> see you later. By the way, here's a voucher for Fez. I know you're going to download it legally, so I gave it to you for free. Faggot. <laughs> what if you did that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think let him leave unharmed. I don't know, he, he seems like a really thin and frail. Picture. I still have to watch. <laughs> I still have to watch in the game. Movie. I have okay. it from a hun- from a humble bundle. They gave it to me. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah. I have to finish that movie. There's also this random Minecraft documentary that I have that I don't even know why I have it on my computer. I don't a know where Minecraft it came from. Doc- 
It's like a documentary on that whole studio. Is it any good? I don't, think, I don't you know. know. I don't know some... where it came. I don't know how it appeared on my computer. To be completely honest. How do you get rich off something you give out for free? <laughs> Advertising. At least that's how that free to play model. What, what are you works. talking about? Minecraft. Well, no, Minecraft isn't free. Yeah, that's not it's free. Not? Hell no. No, it's not. Oh, oh hell no. Fuck. I thought it, it, is. it is. Well, for it, James. It, well, originally, I thought it was. <laughs> oh, it, it originally was just <laughs> like a. a an, the alpha test was like playable in browser, and you can just. There was no survival element. It was like super bare bones. Like, hey, yeah. build shit. Yeah. That right. spread like wildfire. That's but how now it's... It's... Max, is that the one we played? Yes, it was. Max, that's... we played it then, right? That's the one I yeah. vaguely remember. Yeah, destroyed. I remember it. So, but yeah, that's how it got its name, right? What? That's kind of how it, it... That's what it was before it was ever... It was forever until it was actually released. It was the first... Yeah. What's it called? It was the Kickstarter thing that was successful before Kickstarter was a thing. Because they asked yeah. for fan funding, and people were like, fuck yeah, boom. It was, I, I, I can't, it's amazing to think that before 1.0 was even out, there was a convention for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, that's where they said, actually, that, isn't that when they finally announced, oh, we're putting 1.0 out, like, I think they announced that at a Minecon. Like, you want to know how big that game is, James? How big? Do you know that right... Okay, what's the number one game played on Xbox Live? What do you think? Blocks 2. Yeah, and what's number two? Um, Minecraft. Fuck yeah, it's Minecraft. Mm. And what's number one in the arcade? Fucking Minecraft. Wait, 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 wait. What's the number one game? Of course, Black Ops 2, dude. Oh, I thought you said Blobs 2. Oh, no. Yeah, I thought you I, I figured it out, but I thought you said Blobs 2. <laughs> I heard Blobs 2. <laughs> I totally said that, though. Blobs. And then I, would, I was like, boy, oh, is oh, Blobs? Oh. Blobs 2. Cod Blobs 2. Yeah. Wow, Cod you know Blobs. what's weird? The number two most played arcade title for Xbox Live is Terraria. Why? That's funny. That's crazy. Because Apparently, Terraria is pretty well made. No, yeah, that game is amazing. I, I played so many fucking hours in that on PC. It's hmm. it's fucking Final Fantasy sprites. Yeah, you look, wow. You look at that game and look at the sprites. Totally like, Chrono Trigger sprites, dude. Dude. I see what you mean. Yeah, look at that game, and then the dude. Who Mr. Made Terraria that. looks like butts, kind of. Oh, he kind of does. Cross <laughs> between butts and Chrono. Huh. Yeah, well. I did it. You beat it? <laughs> yeah, I beat him. Now enjoy the ending because it's pretty awesome music. Cool. I um, um, it's a, it's been muted this whole time though, so I feel bad. Aw. Uh, don't worry. Um. So yeah, I, but I mean, I've been basically doing this programming class, and uh, and so like I'll find some time to play games. But uh, actually, you know, speaking of like. Films I did I finally got to see uh, King of Kong that was a, that was awesome yeah it's good yeah I was like I was like this is this, this, this real? like it, it, this this feels real but at the same time it doesn't it bore it's like on that weird border of like this yeah, could have been they, so written it feels like they dramatize the events just a little bit yes fuck we need to watch yeah that. but it's yeah. really funny how the stereotypes of like like the the guy who has it all is just this dick and then he has a sniveling little like protege it's, just like uh, he's he's going to get it because no, no, uh, it no, it's weird that they're all <laughs> birds and there's a hierarchy yes yeah exactly wasn't there That's a book weird. there's a social class of nerd and they're like this is what i could have sworn there was yeah. a there's a book right there might be i'm About not sure that. i forget but either way, they both got beat out by a Chinese doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sucker. It's... Oh, yeah, I just played it for five months. It's not that bad. It's so <laughs> and then they both shot themselves. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they that shot That is dark, Max. You just uh, took it yeah. somewhere dark. You know what? Sometimes you gotta, you, you gotta take it there. Sometimes you just gotta load up your GameWorks card, put it in. Okay. Wait, I, I know this is out of nowhere, but, like, 
now that I think about it, I've played a lot of games where there have been, uh, like, not gay relationships, but, like, <laughs> has, has there been any game you guys played lately where you didn't expect it to be, to where there'd be a gay scene or a gay character? Let me think. Didn't expect it? Um... Yeah, like, it, it was just out of left field. That's been too common for me lately, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, what? Okay, uh, best example is Fragile Dreams. For the week. Really? I, I, want, I want to play that. That looked really interesting. Yeah, no, I, I same thing. I played it because it looked very interesting, and it is, and it is. but uh, I was playing it with a friend, and, like, this one's nothing but anime trope. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, but, uh, but I, but me and my friend were making fun of it because it was so tropey and so stupid. Like, the <laughs> character was chasing this one dude in this amusement park and we're like making stupid gay jokes like aw it's almost like a date like we were just being stupid and silly but then out of nowhere the dude kisses the main character <laughs> like, what the fuck that was not called for that came out of nowhere like something like it, that it's like the game said oh yeah you want to make some jokes well you know what dude <laughs> guess what yeah, basically that's hey you, you know where I thought that was going to happen something what? like that what fucking tomb raider yeah, actually. <laughs> you know what? Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, with uh, Laura's friend Sam. Laura's friend. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh man, it's gonna happen. I've heard about there's that. gonna be, well, there's well, gonna be something right now. It, you know what? It's weird. I didn't see that, but now that you said it, <laughs> I can see why. You Dude, heard. every time they had a scene together, I was like, this is it. This is the big reveal <laughs> of like. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> or, yeah, it could even be that. Like, you, you, you expect it to happen, but it just doesn't. Does it happen? They're just friends, Gerard. Well, well <laughs> you, you brought it up, not me. No, I uh, know, but it's just, it's just funny. Because, yeah. I don't know if I, like, well, Kelly says she read it, so I'm not the only one who thought that. I thought I was being crazy. I was like, oh, no one mentioned anything of this. I've never seen an article. So I might be out of my mind. But then I'm just like, whoa, Sam. Well, she was essentially the damsel in distress. She was also... I, I don't know. It was just it was just funny to me. Yeah. Because... <laughs> their situation... Yo, you go to Tumblr and you see I'm looking at all the fan art now. Oh, wait. You know what? Now that you said it, I'm going to bring up another one. Uh, hell, Bioshock Infinite. What? With a... uh, hold on. Are, let me just think of the characters you're thinking of. Yeah. Because, well, okay, no, are you talking about those two? Yeah. Uh, well, no, because the two... <laughs> oh, see, I can't... <laughs> like, dumb, I know, but there's yeah. so many people want otherwise. Well, no, because... no, no. I mean, Assassin's I... Creed... Two. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, see there we go. Assassin's Creed oh, Two. I, you know what's funny? That's the one part I saw that video of him and Leonardo, and I laughed my balls off because <laughs> the way it, the way it's done, where he sort of slinks back into his like seat on the bench afterwards, he's just like, mm. <laughs> I I was laughing so hard. Yeah, uh, but uh, as far as Infinite goes, I mean, really, but, but I mean, what? what they are well, yeah. wait no i'm sorry hold on am i talking about the same thing yeah am oh, no that's the thing am uh well we're gonna have gerard you and i are gonna have to have a conversation later about this actually yeah. we, <laughs> oh, we're actually, gonna have to talk about this we, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a talk about this oh, in fact oh, actually she is in the game i have one another thing to add real life because it just real happened life. right now <laughs> that's <laughs> no, pretty great kidding. uh i just saw that like that's that cool drawing that's awesome. Oh my god, I just clicked it right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonardo, what, what are you drawing? Oh, hasta <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know good. why I that's said good. that. I heard someone say that today and I started laughing. Oh. <laughs> you okay there, James? You're all silent. James is taking offense to all of this. I am, I'm sorry, James. Oh, wait, so what is it that you guys see? Like, do you guys see my profile pic? Because all I see is just four pictures. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, 
It's yeah. great because when you talk, the blue border goes around it. You know, I, I see that, but da, what do you think da, of my, da, my da, stupid da, 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 da. one? Dude. I think it's funny. Yeah, James told me that was your uncle. Oh. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, the, yeah, the like my uncle looks too much like the box art of Fester's Quest. Dude, did you know that? <laughs> That's my profile pic. Did you know that when I was a child, I loved that game, and then I played it again as a, an adult, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, I've never played Fester's Quest. Was it? I, you ever I, played? Some, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You ever, what? Played, you ever played Blaster Master, Max? Yeah, it's, a, it's like Blaster Master. The top, the, when you're out of it, and you're going, you're crawling well, through dungeons. Well, I'm, wait, I'm curious. What was What was so funny? Kelly, yeah, yeah, I'm, you, I'm just down a dangerous path of Ezio uh, fan art. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh it's, not what you, it's not what you think. It's just really cute. Oh, you're remember laughing. When, remember when you showed James what so Yaoi cute. was for the first time? <laughs> I could. I can't believe you didn't know what it was till recently, James. James. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you playing Sleeping Dogs? Uh, I'm to sleep. Oh. He is playing Sleeping Dog. Yeah! Wow, look at that he's boat. Sleep, he's a dog. He's a, he's a sleepy, sleepy dog. Um, look at that oh, boat. Fire. Overbearingly. <laughs> oh, I love, I love all those bear puns in Persona. Yeah, me too. There's a I, new one. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in Persona 4 Golden where, uh... Wait, Gerard, did you play Golden or the original? Uh, well, I, I beat know. I beat the original. I'm halfway into Golden. Okay. Um, you know how in in Golden you can change out. Can you in the original? Can you change outfits? No, not at all. Okay, so in Golden you can change outfits, and then and you you, know, you can talk to your party members in the dungeon, and they'll comment on your new outfit. Oh. And that's yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you can get. You can get bathing suits, and when you're wearing swim trunks and you talk to Teddy, he's like, Whoa, Sensei's showing off his bod. Be careful, or you'll give someone Kodiak arrest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, for a second, I was like, wait, like, like the part, I was like, oh, wait, there's a bear, isn't there, called Kodiak Bear? Yes. That, that's incredible. That oh. is a great A pun. Look at, that, oh, look at that banner that someone made. What banner? Oh. Oh, wow. Why? <laughs> yeah. What is going on? See? I like, I like... Of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, no. I think the best... Okay, I got it. Now I have to find it and post it. Because there's one of, like... It was a crossover fan art. Of like two things you would never thought would <laughs> crossed over. Good. Okay, King of the Hill and Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Wait, oh god! What? Please post this. Okay, and those, it's, those it's two... just Boomhauer holding hands with one of the characters, and it just says "Love knows no bounds." <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Oh god! I need to see uh... this. Talk oh. about two like diametrically opposed like styles. Yeah. And like, well, well, it doesn't help that the art's crap too. Oh God! Oh, that's even or better. Does it? Man, every time I I've never looked up that Tomb Raider thing, but now that I'm looking it up, I'm opening a can of worms. I'm just like reading I, all these crazy comments. I know, right? <laughs> it wasn't just old Japanese tombs, Laura rated. <laughs> what, oh. Like <laughs> right stuff, and then right after that, straight up says it was so clear in the cutscene, Laura and. And Sam, we're totally scissor sisters. <laughs> like, scissor sisters. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> people. Please, please do better. There were a lot of people who thought that L Lara Croft was gay before this game even came out. Like, old school. They thought that there were a lot of theories that she was gay. Because like she Tom had... Boyish? Yeah, yeah, that that whole like she lives by herself and either either that or asexual, and just that she's she's not married and she's an adventurer and it talk, talk, oh she's married and all this stuff. That, yeah. that would explain her coming back to life. She's, she's married to adventure. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, damn it! Yeah, I I found it, but they banned the pick. <laughs> Shit. 
she's married to adventure. But the comments are good. I, I heard it. <laughs> or she's married to her pistols. <laughs> <laughs> That's Laura blowing her, the end of her pistol barrel. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, so... Uh, sorry to type, to come back to this topic. <laughs> I'm sorry to go back to something sorry that to go makes back. sense. Sorry to go back. <laughs> um, uh, but speaking of like Persona and Shimagami Tensei, I've been playing Soul Hackers. Oh yeah, and, uh, I saw you post. What's really cool about it is that all the assets are stripped from the Saturn version. Like, like I was, I was like curious to see maybe what they changed because usually, I mean that, I mean that game is. Uh, from 1997, so it's you know usually when they remake a game or when they do a port of a game, they usually try and up like upres or maybe like redraw assets and try and redo stuff. Nope, mm-hmm. everything is straight up the same, which I really like because it's it's kind of like a product of its time and its its look on cyberpunk is is very 90s. It's cool. And it's Shin Megami Tensei, so it's pretty fun. I would love to, but I haven't beat anything on this console. That, that's fine. <laughs> which, um, which which one was that, Max? The title? Uh, it's called Shin Megami Tensei... Uh, wait, only, it's, a, it's a longer title. Shin Megami Tensei uh, Devil Summoner and then Soul Hackers. So basically, Devil Summoner is another branch off of Shin Megami Tensei. Like, Persona is a branch off. And then Soul Hackers is the uh, is the game within that Devil Summoner. Damn. Game within yeah. Game. I'm trying to think. Let's see. How many branches? There's Persona. There's Devil Summoner. There's uh, Digital Devil Saga. Um, there's regular Shin Megami Tensei, obviously. I'm trying to think of what else they've done. They've done other like singular offshoots. I mean, I thought Strange Journey was Shin Megami Tensei Four, but it's not. It's just a little one-off thing. Yeah. So yeah, that's fun. Uh, I've also got Fire Emblem, oh, and uh, Fire Emblem is delicious. Like, <laughs> it's like it's you know you know like when you find a game that you like almost solely because like I, like what we were talking about before, Kelly. Actually, when you were mentioning. Um, like making something sound good, like having good audio cues and good like visual design, and just the stuff that makes something like just appealing in that way. Like the Fire Emblem does that so well. Like the, mm. the new one, it's like the, just the confirm button. Like when you, when you click confirm on text, it makes this like little this like little cr- crinkle and a pop sound. It's just. It, it's like it just it, it's like a tap it's just this little tap and it, it's like I don't know it's like a velvety candy or some shit I, it, it's a nice audible sound cue it's yeah it's a nice little audible click like, or clock. like in Link to the Past 3DS when he jumps up to the second platform it's got that it, little yeah that little boop. Um, when a yeah. dialogue text goes have you played Megami Tensei Gaiden Last Bible I want to. Oh, so that was pre. Was that on Famicom or what? When SNES. That was SNES. Wait, oh. I'm sorry. It's it's a whole series. Wait. Are you it's looking a at series. all the series? Oh. Yes, I shit. am. Awesome. Wait, last by was it a Game Boy Color game? Oh, it's a series. Uh, oh, four like a- handheld games and one Super Nintendo Entertainment System. game. Oh wow, shit! No, actually, I, I that sounded familiar. Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy and Game Boy Color and SNES. Since you're, I'm assuming you're looking at a list of all the Megami Tensei titles. Isn't it crazy how many there are? Uh, I'm looking yeah. at uh, the Wikipedia has it. It's it's like Devil Summoner, Persona, Digital Devil Saga, Devil Survivor, and Devil then Sur- uh, another one. Oh. And other games where Last Bible is, and Devil Children. <laughs> I believe Devil Children came out over here as well as something called Demi Kids. I might be wrong about that. With the dice? I don't know. I just Yo, remember you know seeing what, a box. You know what the longest Shin Megami Tensei thing is? What? Apparently it's <clears throat> Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Raidu Kunza Noha versus oh, the Soulless yes. Army. <laughs> I mean. 
<laughs> those yeah. yeah those games are uh, jamie my friend jamie his friend was like yeah I, I mean this game's good but i just don't have time for it so he gave it to me uh it's it's kind of like you when you go into battles it's like free roaming with poke yeah you did you guys play uh nino kuni at all of course it's like that on a smaller scale oh i'm looking at photos and i could i know what you're saying yeah it's pretty rad uh and it takes the pokemon battles in on handhelds pulled out the camera and made it 3d looks like exactly and it takes place in 1920s japan James still awake? I don't know. James. Oh. You sing, sing him a lullaby. Samuel Lullaby. Lullaby. Baby boo? <laughs> <laughs> boo boo bear? <laughs> <laughs> you can't protest. It's great. Wow. <laughs> <Then. laughs> oh, God. I, I actually remember in... Actually, you guys might remember. Remember in Disneyland when me and James were playing gay chicken? Oh, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we're just looking back and forth, and I just like, and I just like, you know how like some people just like look back and forth at each other, and I just go, yes, yeah, and he's just like, ugh, <laughs> trying to beat me at it, and he's like caressing my face with his hand. I'm like, no, James, I got a one that's better. You touched him in the nose. Yeah, I touched him in the nose. Oh yeah, I wish, that's right. I wish you could touch him in the nose right now. I am. <laughs> you think he would lose his shit? Uh, yeah, he hates that. <laughs> yeah, he does. No, well, his let's face it, his reactions are hilarious. <laughs> they are. Like when, whenever there was, oh, there was just one face James made. I like how we're talking about him, like he's dead or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like he passed away, and we're just reminiscing about the good times. He's oh, passed dude. out. You you made a noise that like freaks him out. It was like a baby it's crying. It's like a baby noise, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he just made, had this look on his face. of like, no! <laughs> 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 uh, it was so funny. Yeah. He's got that He's got that frown down. I just love his, you know, his kawaii Facebook photo. <laughs> oh, God. Was that from the... <laughs> that was from when you guys took those photos. That machine's amazing. I wish we could have kept that machine. Oh, so... It's been a while since, yeah, like, the five of us talked, like, yeah, I've been through a lot. A lot of it has been religion-related, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh. So, that's why I made Bioshock Infinite that much more enjoyable. <laughs> oh, awesome. So you could, re- it could, you could relate it to the times. To your times. Well, okay, like, I joined a club this semester at GCC, mm-hmm. and, uh... It's the Christian club. I personally am not Christian, and they know that. Yeah, but you're just curious, right? Yeah, well, like, just to get to know them, you know? Like, they, they seem like nice people, and they are. And one of the girls took me to her church, and I'm like, you know what, I'll go, why not? And I went, and what's weird is that, you know, there are people our age. Like, no one in this church is, like, over, like, 30 or anything like that. They're all people our age. What? Every single member. That was kind of weird, you know? What uh, denomination are they? Is it, like, Catholic? No, no, they were clearly not Catholic. Like, they were... Like, Protestant? What, what, what's just what's just the bare basic, I guess? Uh, uh, I think... Uh, I guess... Is that non- there, there are such things as non-denominational churches, but where, like... I don't, I, I don't really know much, but... But, but you get what I mean. Just the, the usual Christian who goes to church every Sunday and the usual stuff. Nothing too crazy, it's just... Yeah, nothing nothing like... It's it's not like, you know, there's this high... There's this one direct higher purpose for their... The way they're, yeah. they're choosing to... I think I know what you mean. I don't know like, what those... I, well, yeah, cause if is it about, Protest- what Protestant? All just I was Christian wondering, yeah. Because, let's face it, there's like a huge variety of Christian... Yeah, like yeah. like the about, Simpsons. Yeah, but the Simpsons about, are Protestant. Yeah, it, you know what? It could be Protestant. That's that's the closest I can think of right now. <laughs> well, it's certainly that at the very least. So, but mm-hmm. anyway, they're all people our age. Even like the uh, the pastors and the reverends there, they're all maybe twenty five. Wow. Yeah. So it was it was they're certainly like the next generation of Christian. 
Interesting. Are they? Now I'm really curious about that. So are they? Do they seem much more lenient? Because I mean, that's what, if that's one thing with our Certainly, generation. Okay. What the one thing I do like is that uh, they won't push the idea of Christianity. They'll at, at the very least go, oh, you know, just come with me to church. I'll show you. You know. Okay. But that's it. But they'll treat it like it's a concert and go, well, what did you think? Did you like it? Yeah. Uh huh. It's more well, like that. They're, that's cool. They're more laid back about it, so I can respect that. You know. Yeah. I do respect that, and that they're not hammering it in. Yes, because that's a problem. Yeah, and I and I'm okay with that. That's fine. It's great that they're that way. But at the same time, I feel bad because obviously when you hear Christian, it's like Christians, ugh. like you're probably in a cult. Like that's you know what some people would say. Yeah, and it's like some of their own family members think that, like think that their own son and daughter's in a cult when they're just going to church. That's, what? Wow. And they feel really bad about that. And I'm like, you know what? Now I can't help but feel bad about you guys. <laughs> now I have, like, uh, home syndrome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. It's like, yeah, they occasionally do mission trips. And I went to one mission trip just because I kind of like the girl, goddammit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, I will be uh, honest about that. Hey, but did I, I, did, speaking of that, yeah. did James ever tell you his church experience before prior to meeting he's, you? He's told me a couple, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. Like when he uh, joined this Korean church. Yeah. Okay. That sounds inc- that sounds like a story worthy yeah. of a lengthy novella. Oh yeah. no! But this no, one, J- James will explain. The reason why I even brought this up was because this was fairly story worthy. Like, they wanted to go on a mission trip to Mexico. Okay, we went there to baptize thirty prisoners, thirty inmates. Uh. Oh. We to, we, yeah, we went to La Mesa Maximum Security Prison. Holy shit! I think that I saw that on uh, freaking uh, lockdown. That place looked scary as fuck. Yeah, we went there, and I didn't realize that's where we were going till we passed the border. Oh my goodness! And I'm like, that's what we're doing. Oh, well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. yeah! I just imagine you on the bus yelling out, "Oh god, damn it!" Yeah, and then it just shows Gerard's <laughs> yeah, honestly, face oh, actually, like on the bus and thing. zooms out. The times I wanted to say that, "God damn it!" <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's when you really have to control yourself. They wouldn't be like the thing is they wouldn't be mad at all. This is just being polite, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but it's like, am I just thinking too much about it? What if they go, "God damn it!" too, and I'm just thinking too much about it? Because they're, oh. they're people our age and they're lenient and they don't really care. They curse too. Hey man, I go to church. Fuck, yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's weird. I, I don't know if I've ever, uh, I probably have talked about this with maybe one or two of you, but, you know, be working at where I work, uh, you know, everybody, everybody's cool and chill, but, you know, most of them belong to, uh, they, they have, they don't, uh, they're in a more relaxed manner, but still because it's part of their times. You know, they're much they're older, so it's it was much more commonplace to be part of a church if you were Christian. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of like you know they'll they'll half half joke with you, half be like you know be like wondering like one of them will be like I just don't like I just can't see how you can't believe in a higher, and you know I I my I would you know respond to them respectively i'll be like you know i just don't believe in that higher power like i i I believe there's something that sort of pushes things forward but not necessarily you know something a god God, yeah because i mean in in my mind it's yeah no of of course but like doesn't uh it just doesn't roll that way but you know their whole deal is you know is that and it's it's like uh it like i remember one this one part was one time where it was it was actually on, on uh, Easter. Okay. I said, uh, you know, I, I mean, I still I still quote unquote celebrate those holidays because you know certain parts of my family, Thank you know, you exactly. It's just a family tradition. It's it, not necessarily yeah, it's just a Christian thing anymore. It's, exactly. it's like that for all of us, though. Exactly, and I look at it more like that. It's just a, a reason to get together with family, which I like doing. Sit here, yeah. Uh, and um, and you know, she kept trying to nail down, but you don't celebrate it religiously. And I'm like, no, well, no, well, but well, I still... yeah, no, it's more like you, you could like no, you'd be like, well, 
yeah, I don't celebrate it religiously. I, I celebrate it. People have their own reason for celebrating something. Exactly. You know? um, but it, Heathen. It, I know, heathen. It's, uh, like How it, dare you paint Easter eggs? <laughs> no, it, it's like, you no, know, it's more like it may not be religious, but why is that wrong? Yeah, why, exactly. And and so I think that's the one thing that sort of was like, it was kind of jarring. It was like, oh, I could geez. tell that yeah. they took it. Christ in Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Which, yeah, which, first off, I got stories to tell. I finally learned why Easter bunnies and eggs are part of Easter. Uh, oh, oh well, well, you know the origin, right? The, the orig- red egg is the actual real color, but every other color is not correct. Oh, I didn't know about that. I, I was actually thinking about the actual placement of why rabbits and eggs are there, but I didn't know about the whole the whole color thing. Yeah, what, what- like, that, that's, the reason why it's specifically an egg is because it's obviously just a legend, but when Jesus died that day on the cross... Uh, uh, Mary actually brought out an egg, like a couple of eggs. Oh, seriously? And, yeah, and uh, his blood dipped on the eggs. Oh, man. Yeah, and it colored them red. Oh, shit. Jesus' blood. Yeah, that's kind of badass. Shit. So, but that's, <laughs> that's really it, you know what I mean? Like, that's the start, and then since then, it just changed radically. Oh, uh, dude, that so, should be a fucking metal video. God damn. That would be an awesome fucking metal video. Well, think about it. It's like it makes sense too. You're like, oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Because the thing I heard was that yeah, you know, there's a Syrian goddess named Ishtar, and it's pronounced yeah. Ishtar. So basically, and she was a goddess of fertility, and yeah. you know, so you get you have obviously eggs symbolizing that, and obviously, and then she was all. I guess, I guess a. Uh, Rabbits were also a symbol of Ishtar because you know obviously rabbits fuck like no nobody else, so that's that's basically and it, I think it just so happened to fall on the same, you know, time of the yeah. resurrection. So you get this sort of crossover, and then at the same time you get legends as as such with the the eggs and then yeah. Jesus' blood raining <laughs> raining down on these eggs. Uh, Dude, that sound that is sound. Min- like metal I, as fuck. I yeah, I haven't heard that before. The, uh, the, oh, maybe the, no one. Oh, the blood on the eggs. No, the the ish the the, the pag was a pagan. Uh yeah, it was a Syrian Syrian. Oh guy. Syrian. Yeah, a lot of our a lot of our Christian holidays are actually pagan. Yeah, yeah. like Sat dude Saturnalia. I still okay. Can somebody explain to me why the Saturnalia is? Obviously, yes, the Saturnalia is during December, but why are we celebrating it as Jesus' birthday when he was clearly born in summer or around summer or spring? Like, what, what, well, is, that... the, what is the connection there? I'm just curious. I always thought, before anyone gives a correct answer... Mm-hmm. Is Matt there? Yeah. I always uh... thought that it was a... Um, a scheme because in the winter everyone's sad and depressed so it's like a thing that you can do and go out and sp- spend money to, d- to do during the cold see, <laughs> that's... I could, see that's the funny thing is i could totally believe that because but this, i have no idea yeah I just made yeah. That up. <laughs> but i could totally believe that too because there have been swindlers since the time since time began so you know the like i've i've been told the story of the manger and all that and how it was cold and stuff Hmm. But, oh, so maybe that they correlated the cold. The, the I don't actual know. Cold of, maybe it wasn't just cold. So festive. Just, I don't know. <laughs> just like there were lights everywhere when Jesus just like popped out and fucking Christmas. Ooh. Christmas. Thanks for that photo, Jor. I sent it to my cousin. <laughs> oh the. Oh yeah, you, you saw it right. I just posted it. Yeah. Yeah. That that's your cousin, right? Cousins. All three of them were. Oh, all three of them are your cousin. Yeah, they're all sisters. Yeah, and then that's the creator of Harold, right? That dude. Yeah. Random that they hang out with them. Yeah, I know. Like we, I was talking with all four of them that night. And yeah, oh, that's that's crazy. that's Craig Bartlett. Yeah, they have some. Yeah, cra- they have some fucking crazy stories if you ask them. Yeah, yeah, he hangs out with with Matt's he'll, cousin. He'll tell you like, oh. yeah, fucking recess. They stole all my fucking ideas. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, James asked, and it was true, but he's still good friends with those guys. 
Yeah, he James oh. asked. Yeah, it's, actually, I know why he would ask because I told him about like how he told me all that, and he was like, "Fuck, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hear this. I gotta ask." Him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, I only have like ten more minutes, so I should say it quick. Oh, yeah. um, what was it? Oh, so the the La Mesa Maximum Security Prison. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. I was there. For, shit. I was there for twenty hours. What? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was there the what? whole day with these guys, yeah. And it's not like we weren't behind, like, a closed door or a locked fence. No, we were in the courtyard with these people, like, talking to them and all that. Did you feel like a badass? No, I was afraid, to be honest, when I first went in. It was scary in there. Oh, man, I could only imagine. Because there's armed guards everywhere. It's not, like, just regular security or anything, like, uh... Because it was, that was our first stop. It was Tijuana, and because because Border Patrol is big out there, uh, they don't really have a police force. It was just military. Damn, out. I totally forgot you went to Mexico. That just yeah. flipped a switch so in my head. See people casually, yeah, you just see them casually walking around with assault rifles. Oh, man. And it was a little unnerving, but in the prison it was okay but it was safer you know i was safer in the prison than outside to be honest because mm-hmm. well how, how do i say it so like i'm there for 20 hours and like you know how you see in the movies like a prisoner like picking away at a rock with a with an axe yes, yes. yeah they actually do that <laughs> Holy shit, that's how that you was know. Really fun. And like, we gave them rocks, and that felt really weird. Oh, that is kind of oh. fucking weird. They're like, and like oh man. As, and I'm thinking as I was out there, I'm like, you know what? Yesterday I was just hanging out with my friends here in LA, and now today I'm in La Mesa's <laughs> prison with these prisoners. Here you go, fellow here prisoner. You go, sir. Yeah. Have Here's a rock. rock. I, I represent the white man. <laughs> Oh, it feels because it's just so out of place. But well, besides that, like we fed them lunch, and all of them performed skits. Oh boy! And, yeah, what? they performed skits in front of the prisoners. Like three hundred of them, like sat in the courtyard on benches, and like some of the kids did like skits. Oh and, fuck! Well, what was pretty funny was uh, <laughs> I found it funny because. No one seemed pleased with them. <laughs> like everyone's like everyone's like performing a skit, and I just saw one prisoner with his hands like on his chest, and he's just like, and he's shaking his head no, as if saying, that "You don't know shit about life, kid." That's hilarious. Yeah, and I I found it so funny, and the funny <laughs> part was is uh, some of them were really nice, like they were great once you get to know them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they hey. really weren't that bad. Yeah, no, I'm I'm sure like I'm, there are definitely some like chill people in there, but still, well, they, well, not chill. I'd say they were the most down to earth because, well, come on, they yeah. did so much. Yes, the crack in earth. Yeah. So Dude, that that like, must I, be that you like. Yeah. Can you imagine like they're like cracking rocks like fuck this, and you're like, here you go, sir, another rock. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it looks at you in the it's eye. Not- when I get out of here, I'm going to remember you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were there a lot of guards nearby around you? All over. Yeah. This okay. Sort of, in the courtyard? Oh, each each tower had a machine gun rail, so... Oh, well, there you yes. go. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it was, like, this was tight. This was tight. Holy but shit. We had to go through four different checkpoints just to make it to the courtyard. Oh my god. After the third one, yeah. it's like, uh, should we keep going, guys? Because, uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. But, you know what? It wasn't bad. And after the whole skit, and then after we fed them all lunch, like, they they made me shake hands with all 300 of them. So, like... Oh my god. Okay. What? So, wait, wait. Let, let, let me put it to you. Okay, so this is what we did afterwards. Like, when we were about to leave the prison. There was a line of, of of my group, you know, the, the Christian club or whatever. Like, there's a line of 50 of them, and then there's another line, a second line with another 50. So there's two lines. And one prisoner would walk in between the lines to high-five or shake hands with everyone, okay? 
Okay. You with me so far? Yeah. yeah. So, so then each prisoner would do that one at a time, and I'm in front of two of the lines, shaking hands with all of them mm-hmm. before they enter the line. And some of the prisoners were pretty funny. Like some would take advantage and just run down the line with both his hands in the air so that he could <laughs> high five everyone. <laughs> and then another prisoner just started dancing and. Be- between the two lines, and the other prisoners took advantage that started dancing with him. <laughs> just down <laughs> on the line as if it was like a conga. It's like, oh, we're never going to do this again. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, some of them were like, I'm just being honest with you, I'm not here because I'm religious, I'm here just to get some fresh air. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Man. You remember it? Oh, man. But it, Did you know there it were... It was an experience. Yeah. Did you know there were riots in, in 2008? Oh, no. I Oh, I know. Okay. I, uh, hell, like, actually, like, four days before there was a riot, like, before I arrived. Oh, cool. Oh. oh. You must have felt awesome. Uh, I guess. <laughs> But, but the funny thing is, like, I wouldn't have done any of that if I didn't meet these guys. Yeah. So life's funny like that. And it was fun. Well, cool. That's awesome. That's, so that's yeah, I, I, I had a nice time. Do it again, heck. It was... <laughs> well, actually, no, I wouldn't. Border control was off. It took us four hours to, to just get out. Oh, God. Four hours? Shit. Like, I was searched. Um, what, really? We were escorted to, like, two... Yeah. You were felt up? Well, because one of the people in the car did have their passport, and the other guys was... Oh, God. Yo, not having your passport in the other border, in, across the border, and coming trying to... Dude, that's a scary thought, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh... But, happily, like, they were really lenient, and they were like, don't worry about it, just go. Holy shit. Times are changing. Well, because uh, we were a car of, like... 32 people and oh, okay. threw them to the passport and they were like it's fine you're not Mexican <laughs> <laughs> alright am I there? yes yeah. Yes. better? E- yeah yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. it's like you're right next to me <laughs> yeah cause and the window's down cause it's right next to the mic <laughs> yeah it's okay okay <laughs> like, I called back twice just to say I'm gonna go. Oh. <laughs> oh that's right. Yeah, cause... <laughs> Alright, Jarrah. Did... Thank, thank you for the stories, my friend. Absolutely. And thank yeah. you for coming on, too. Glad to have yeah, you back hopefully on. that was enjoyable. Yeah. Talk about Super okay. Mario RPG next time. Oh, yeah, I will. I, I enjoyed it. That so was number convince, 39 this year, by the way. Convince Kelly to play. Yeah, that was 39. <laughs> Dude, that was, that you're on a roll. 39. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 I'm doing okay. So. You're doing fine. Have a good night, Gerard. All right, guys. Night. All right, man. Good night. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Bye. All right. Dude, this podcast got really quiet and clear. It did get. It did really get <laughs> quiet. The the audio the audio quality is really good right now. You think James is just like passed out on his table, just like <laughs> he's gonna wake yeah. up and be like, "Oh, they hung up on me." Oh. <laughs> Or maybe he'll wake up and and jump back in before we. He's like, "Hey guys, what's up?" Hey, what's up? What were we talking about? <laughs> oh, I th- I forgot. There was one thing I wanted to talk about on the cast. Oh, we're still recording, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, um, I started watching Dragon Ball Z. I I you like, never I, watched it before. No, I've watched it before, but. You know, like oh man, one of I I mean, like it's weird. It's like I can say I've seen all of it, but obviously there are a lot of episodes I missed oh, man. in between because yeah. it's it's sort of like you know I jumped around a bit. Yeah, me too. Oh, um, man. and so I am basically watching through all 291 episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the original. I w- I was told to watch Kai instead. Yes, because Kai is a Kai cuts to the bullshit. Kai, yeah. Yeah, Kai, Kai, somebody, sh- I, I, I was looking on YouTube and they had this one particular, like one of the main big, big confrontations, you know, that was in several episodes and in Kai, it's like 17 minutes long. 
Yeah. Uh, still, that still sounds not but, short. But compare that. Not in that, a bad way. Just yeah. in like a, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's like, holy. So, and obviously, I mean, one of the reasons why Z was so long was one of the reasons was because the manga was still going on as uh, as they were making it. So and this happens with all anime. They end up making filler or they end up having to extend episodes longer because, you know, the author's not uh, done writing it yet. But um, I'm staring but, at my entire set as you're talking. An empire set? No, my entire... Dude, Dragon Ball Z... I have every episode on DVD. <laughs> oh, you do? I have the box set. That's awesome. That is, I, <laughs> I'm so staring I, at it and going, fuck, man, that is 291 episodes. So, I opened the, like, the last container just to see, and I was like, shit, 291! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. I, I Oh, so does your box set... So one of the cool things I heard with, I, I think it was one of the newer releases of that show's Dragon Ball Z has two. Obviously, it has the English dub and the Japanese dub. Uh, but there's also when they brought it over to America, they had they had obviously the music was changed, which I think is a a horrible shame because I think the Japanese music's gorgeous. Uh, but you can switch between the English and Japanese songs. Yeah. And the audio. So yeah. you could actually have Japanese audio with, with English dub, or you could yeah. have Japanese dub with English audio, and you can switch in wh- which tracks you like. Yep. So you can do that. That I think that's really cool. So in case you, if you are a fan of the English music, music you yeah. can listen to it. I'm only a fan of... There's a couple of English tracks that I really like. Uh, yeah. It happens when Goku turns Super Saiyan 3, and... Uh, I think that's the only really like, and uh, I guess Go Han Super Saiyan too. But okay, man, I've, that, I haven't heard those. The so. Japanese, um, that fucking music is dramatic as hell, dude. It it, it is. <laughs> it's 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 kind of like I was trying to figure out what to compare it to, and I guess the only thing I can think of is it's done by a really famous composer who did a lot of stuff for like you know Super Sentai, you know, stuff back in the sixties and seventies. But the music can like range. There, there's a range in the music in the Japanese music from like you know really like like calm and pretty to like suspenseful. But in a, I, I don't know how you describe it's it. It's pretty. It's it's it goes from calm to like a really th- it like the thundering like battle music. It's like if if you like RPG battle music, that's what their battle music is. It is. There's and there's like distinct melodies too. Yeah. Like I think that was one of my problems with a lot of the tracks in the English is that the melodies it, it just dude, sound, yeah. It exactly. sounded like like butt rock to, or not butt <laughs> it's rock. Like, but, it's like stuff like really random like inane riffing. Exactly, inane riffing. Meanwhile, like here you have like something like something I can hum. Yeah. Which I've been doing a lot. And uh, uh so but anyway, I the original reason, like, I'm watching is because Dragon... I'm sure with a lot of people our age, you know, not necessarily everybody, but Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z was one of the first animes they ever saw growing up because it was, like, one of the ones made available to even watch on syndicated television. Uh, so watching that when I was a kid and now after watching all the anime I've seen after and now coming back to it, I'm, I want to watch through the whole series and see, like, I'm, I'm sure... I'm. Obviously, there are parts I'm still nostalgic for, but you know when you see something so long ago, details get muddied and oh yeah, so I'm just watching through it again, and it's just this kind of like you know not the best written it's really it's re- it's really just like a battle opera, and that's pretty much <laughs> it, it. Is. but uh Dragon Ball, meanwhile, is like a nice fun adventure that can be funny, which yeah. I still want to watch by the way, because I've yeah. never seen, and I can't find it. I know it's very hard. Oh, they hard. have the wait to buy or to watch. I'd like to watch it. Oh uh, yeah, it used to be all on YouTube, but you know how that goes. Yeah. Mm. Wait, Max, did you buy it? N- uh, 
Uh, or you were you were thinking about it, right? Um, yeah, actually, I was thinking of, of buying Dragon Ball because yeah, that's another show that you know it's made. Actually, Z and Dragon Ball. Like, if you ever try and search for it, they always direct you towards an English dub. But I'm trying to look specifically for Japanese dubs because yeah, dude, I me, love the Japanese dub. Yeah, Kakaroto. Their fucking voices are menacing. They are. They are. Oh, also, one of the things I really don't like about English dub is that... Okay, so one of the things in the Japanese dub is that there, when there are times of suspense, sometimes there's no music at all, and there's no talking. Exactly! And, Dude, and, and, thank you! And they and the English and they dub... they add they talking. To, they add talking, and like you said, the inane riffs. Yeah. It's like, guys, uh, do you know that, you know that like, the idea of like silence sometimes is more suspenseful than shoving shit down our throats? Like, I... That's, that's like one reason I do not like to listen to English dubs. And sometimes they try and throw in their own types of jokes. Like I remember once they do a "looks like your shoelaces are untied" joke yeah, when they're it, clearly not opening their mouths and they're they, just shifting they the shove camera it. over. They just shove it. Yeah, it was just like, oh man, please don't. <laughs> I think I'm the minority of this, but I like Goku's transformation to S to level three more than. I like Gohan's to level two. Oh yeah, I, you know I, you know I've never actually seen the episode where he goes SS three. I'm curious that. to see that. Watch that link. I, oh. dude, I will get. I give so much props to the English voice actor, dude. The yells he do, does there. He talked about it in like a thing, dude. Those are not looped. He is literally yelling his fucking balls out. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh, let's end that podcast right recording right there. He yells his balls out.